Hello, everybody. I can finally at least hear him. Yeah, hold on. Let me get my video started and fix things. There we go. We there can we see you. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hi. A apparently, Hi, this firewall well. was being really Oofy. stupid. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I've, I, I changed literally nothing. So. You know what? I like what Ryuma uh, said. I blame Clayman for Shim's issues. Clearly, it was probably Clayman. it was fucked Clayman. around on my firewall. What a butthole! All right, he's gonna have to. Yeah, go. he's gonna have to. Go. It's a good thing we're already yes. planning to kill him. Mm -hmm. yeah, have I mentioned how much of an amazing singer singing voice you have? Well, uh, clearly oh, you're man. not talking about oh, me okay. because you spelled my name wrong. So, whoever this Richie person mm. is that their name is spelled with a Y, I'll let them know. <laughs> Sonic 2 was a gun movie. Yes, it was! Yes, it was! <laughs> Let me see. <clears throat> You're not wrong. I actually haven't seen wrong. the first one. So, it's been... Dude, I I just forgot. I wanted to go see it, and then I just It was the so. last major movie before mm -hmm. the pandemic. I know, and it was like, I had that, you know, that gunk, so I was like, man, I wanted to go see it, but then... Uh, well, so, uh, I would hey, like to go see it though. I heard Shadow, it sounds like that guy has a really good singing voice. You should definitely tell him. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's talking about Lionel Richie. Hello. Is it, Is it me, me you're, you're looking for? for? I can see, see it in your, in your eyes. eyes. All right. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> We're so dumb, but it's okay. Yeah. It okay. It okay. <laughs> It okay. It okay. Mm -hmm. It okay. Ah. Uh, what what am I supposed to be mm. looking up? I forget what I was looking for again. Uh, I, I have no idea. I looking up. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh yeah. Uh. Woo. Okay. Or also, I need a haircut. It's all like foofy. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. It's like. I'm almost got like hentai pro tag hair, so it's not good. Yeah, I need I need a haircut. Mm hmm But yeah, it's uh what was it? That's that's something on my list. I need to go see the Batman and I gotta go see Sonic too, so yeah, I got I got work Sonic to do. One first. That yeah. That's true. I kinda I kinda figured that Sonic didn't die at the end of Sonic One, so I don't have to worry about that, so I mean that is a safe assumption to make. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's supposed to be showing up tomorrow. I'm getting my hair done. Uh, Ooh, and that sounds nice. What right brand? Uh, yeah, I can tell you that. <laughs> the good kind. <laughs> the the kind I like. Mm -hmm. It's usually that's usually the kind. Uh, it is. How dare? Uh, okay. Chi Forest Milk Tea. White peach milky flavor. Bruh, why you gotta do this to me? Sorry, my light, my light well, is. I also, I also right will now. need your help as as mm -hmm. you uh, as you come from Korean roots. I will need I, your help. No. In picking <laughs> How actually dare. no? Yeah. Shh, hide to the people. <clears throat> yes, uh, I no. come from Korea. Well, I didn't say I didn't say you come from Korea. Huh. I said you have Korean oh. roots. Car as do in, I? like, <laughs> do you? I'm like gaslighting myself. Like, am I? Do I? Listen here, you plant motherfucker. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, no. You know. I, I, I thought you were saying. Uh, I thought at one time you had pointed out mm. that you had Korean ancestry, or you were like just mm -mm. Okay. Vietnamese and Chinese, dude. Dude, it's that is completely the opposite side of Asia. Yeah. So <laughs> that is the south coast say... of Asia. Yeah. So <laughs> fuck. All right, Do I look Korean? I blame. I blame. PDA. I don't know what Koreans look like, so I don't. I don't know. All right, as messed up as it says, so huh. I, I, as messed up as it sounds, I don't know either. But then again, <clears throat> I can't tell the difference between a German and an Irish person. No, okay, I mean, no, I, no, I just no, don't no, want no. to assume. Hold so. on, I take that back. Huh. I can. Yeah. I can tell the difference between a German and an Irish person, but I can't mm. really tell the difference between Germany, Poland, Belarus. Like it's all white to me. <laughs> I mean, it just. I guess there are some nuances, but I, I don't know them off the top of my head, and I don't want to be like, oh, uh, okay. nope, this is definite fact. Then so. I am definitely going to have to talk to DDA then, because 
I'm trying to find like good kimchi to mm-hmm. order online and have sent here so I can. I do have like kimchi. Proper kimchi. Kimchi is really nice. I think we had a discussion oh. about kimchi, and that's why I had assumed. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I did it's take a wrong sir. turn in Albuquerque. In, in Albuquerque. <laughs> Yeah, Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Shim took a wrong yep. turn in Albuquerque. And ended, and up, ended up in Hoboken. <laughs> yeah, Hoboken, in, Korea. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Veldora, I dare to be stupid. You're not wrong. <laughs> Batman mm-hmm. is coming to HBO Max like uh, in about two weeks. Really? Oh, yeah. Maybe I don't so even be... have to buy a ticket, so. No, you can just watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I do want to watch it, though. I heard it was really good. I think you can. Where can you watch it? <laughs> Uh, I could probably just find Sonic a DVD the or streaming. Blu-ray somewhere. So, I'm sure it's not that Sonic expensive the right now. So. It's on Filio TV. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Just watch. Apparently, it's up also purchasable on YouTube. What? It's on yeah, Steam, probably. I Roku, probably just need to rent it. I'm just gonna watch it. Once, oh, it's on so. Amazon Prime Video. There you go. Oh, then. Sure. You can watch it on not? Amazon Prime Video. Yeah. yeah. You'll probably have to pay a rental fee. I mean, yeah, yeah. Renting is for what one time watch is like a couple bucks, nothing. Yeah, should be fine. Alrighty, Mm -hmm. I got the book all up and everything, so ready to go. Albuquerque, Albuquerque, Turkey, Turkey. Okay, things to talk about and let Mm. people catch up on. Oh yeah, I. Shim, hmm, you didn't see this because it had not arrived before. I don't believe it had arrived. What would it what would it be? I can't hear you because I had to take my headphones off. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's oh. your lab coat. That's right. That's right. You wanted to do this. And, now I just and, need now yeah. I just need the wig and uh uh Morty uh Morty Perfect Morty uh, You got you gotta shove them way up there, Morty. Uh, you know. I need I need you to shove them way up there, Morty. Like way up your rectum. I, I do it, but I I've, I've already done it. Uh, um, my rectum's too loose. They just fall out, Morty. You're you're still young. You're tight. <laughs> Morty, this is a, an episode one joke. If you haven't an episode seen this one yet. joke, Morty. Yeah. Yeah. Rick and Morty dot com. Rick and Morty forever. She is Doofenshmitz Schmerk. That's terrible. I oh, that. that sounds Doofenshmitz. horrible. How fucking <laughs> dare you? I can't. I mm, that one's a hard voice to imitate too. So I don't. I don't know what Doofenshmirtz is. So. He's he's from the Phineas and Ferb uh, series. Oh, that uh, explains it. I've never a watched platypus. Barry the platypus. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. It's I really have hard. Never watched Phineas and Ferb. It's really good. I'm really sad that I didn't watch more of it as a kid. It's actually really funny. That's okay. I have also never mm. seen SpongeBob, and I can't say that I've ever. Mm. I definitely don't. M- Everybody's like, "Oh my god, you have to watch SpongeBob!" And I was like, "Yeah." And here's the crazier part: I don't care. <laughs> it uh, is pretty uh, funny, but that's surprising to me. <laughs> I run a legal pot dispensary. Science, yeah. Science rules. I keep hearing my name. <laughs> So so yeah, Rick. I uh, hmm. I got this together for the it's a nice uh, shirt too for the Patreon. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. I got mm-hmm. this together for the Patreon ad. Uh, guys, once again, we will be joining you back here this Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Pat is officially available, so we will oh, for be playing. D&D so we will be playing Dungeons and Dragons. But also keep in mind that uh over uh overlords and best boys. Is now moving from weekly to bi weekly, so it's every other week. <laughs> and on the off weeks, either we're going to be working on some uh, other project maybe. or we're going to do, um, or we're going to do what the fell. Also, <laughs> mm-hmm. I knew I was going to have to do this. Phil Dora is great, but you know what's better than, than better? The stain fighting power of OxyClean. It gets the tough stains out without the harmful flames from Veldora's mouth. That works. It just works. He co-owns the pot dispensary with the weed prince. You know. Oh, she's just raking it in, man. She's hey, in good. She's, she's fine. Ryuma, she's got me in. Yuma. Yuma. The feds are watching this. The feds. 
They don't need to know about my dispenser. It's fine here where I am. <laughs> uh, you can get weed legally. Are you in California? No, I'm in the other C state. Connecticut? Crunchville. <laughs> it's in, uh, the only one of two places where weed is illegal, so. No. Our weed legal. is legal. Huh. No. Actually, no, it's more now, right? Oh, yeah. There's like yeah. 16 states where it's legal. Yeah. But then, like, early on, all the California people came in here and the roads were like. So it's crazy. California, Colorado. People like their weed. All right. You've got three C states California, mm-hmm. Colorado, Connecticut. I know yep. which one you were talking about. That's why I said Connecticut. <laughs> yes. Yep. Mm hmm. Okay. The weed princess buys OxyClean. Well. I mean, you can't oh, beat County. that stain fighting power. Yeah. I'm just telling you. Right now. It's true. Okay, so I gotta go clean my blue ass real quick. Would you mm. like to? You know what? Before I do that, mm. yeah. I do that, um, yes. We worked a little bit more on mm-hmm. uh, Konosuba, and mm-hmm. it's now up to twelve pages. Good. And it's it's still. I would say it's probably halfway done now. Mm-hmm. So why not? Why not? If we're gonna do a big one shot, might as well do twenty four pages, right? Yeah, if you're going to take a bite, at least, you know, yeah, take a whole mouthful. Uh, If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. Oh, okay. This needs to be said. Dear Internet. Mm -hmm. It is pronounced spy family. You don't have to say the X. You sound like an (laughs) idiot when you do it. (laughs) Hunter X Hunter. It's the same thing. It's Hunter Hunter. You don't say Hunter X Hunter. You sound like an absolute doofus. Don't sound like Gigguk, okay? Gigguk. I like Gigguk, though. He's funny. Yeah, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, Nobody wants to sound like Garnt when he pronounces things Garnt. like that. He mm. literally says that the second four of Mashoku Tensei is season two. Clearly, this man cannot be trusted. Mm. So, saying... That's also on the list. I gotta watch I'm that, too. Starting, I'm starting mm. some shit with people, and I don't care. Mm. It is crowd some skulls. Spy family and Hunter Hunter. I will die on this goddamn hill. I didn't even know there was an X in Spy Family. Anytime I see it typed out, people just put Spy Family. So also, that one also I just want to go ahead and say I just well, it, the first mm-hmm. episode came out this weekend and it's a and it's I mean, I already knew because of the <laughs> uh, I love that. X Hunter. Anyway, I already I knew because I'd read script. I'd already read some of the manga, like long while ago probably years ago who was being a dave and pronouncing it the ex and spy family uh well i did out him gigguk is one of them but there are some people that are confused do we call it spy family or spy x family you just call it spy family uh the first episode is out it's really adorable and great it all you need to know is dude there dude's a spy he has to make a family the girl he finds is adorable and cute and she's a telepath I I could literally all I have to say is husband is a spy, wife is an assassin. Neither of them know that the what the other does, and the child they have is a telepath. Oh, that's adorable. Who loves spy shit? <laughs> I know that there are plenty of really great faces the in that anime best, and that manga. So the best anime. Yeah, like it's just it's a great premise. I don't remember why I stopped reading. Uh, I think I just got behind, and now that the yeah, anime is out, the anime is out. I don't want to keep reading because I don't want to like. Here's the thing. Yeah, Anya likes peanuts. That's what you mm-hmm. really need to. Anya is best Anya girl. Anya is best yep. girl. All right, all right. So here's what you here's here's what you do. All right, you go watch Mashoku Tensei to get like really good characters and good writing shots. Mm-hmm. Then you go watch My Dress Up Darling for the boner. Then you go watch boner. Spy Family, which will help yeah. you kill your boner. <clears throat> Please keep in mind, though, that while you have that raging boner, uh, mm-hmm. the Marin Kitagawa, she's fifteen, bro. Yeah, I, mm. <laughs> like, dude, yeah. like, saying I don't care. She's yeah, a I mean, no character, still fifteen. They're they're all like that though. It's like, right. all right, this anime character is really popular. They're really cool, but they're in high school. The only one that like subverted that was okay. 
I know that a lot of people give Uzaki wants to hang out a lot of shit, but at least they're in college. This is the first time I've ever seen an anime go, yeah, they're in college. Like, they're not high school or middle school. I love that, I love that school, Atlas is like, 15, college. I'll pass. So, and I'm like, bro, yeah, it's like, we're, not, we're not talking about Smash or Pass, but you should absolutely watch it because it's got some really wholesome shit. And it's an insight. I do like Slice in, of Life, though. And it's also an mm-hmm. insight into, like, cosplay. Yeah, so I'm actually working on Some people will watch right my now, dress so. up darling for the titties. The, you're not wrong. You're not yeah. wrong. It is a cute romance slice of life cosplay series. Is uh, it like people playing Nier Automata for the booty? Which I may may or may not have done. Is there <laughs> but it's a good other, it's a good game. Is there actually. any other huh. reason to play Nier Automata? I mean, well, see the thing is, I came for the thighs, stayed for the existential crisis, so it's fine. <laughs> it's uh, actually really good. I see you I too are a man of culture. Mm-hmm. I thought you pract I thought you practiced Riruism, but it seems you have a different ideology. I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> Just I mean, hey, 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 hey. Yeah. You, yeah. You can come back to huh. Rimuruism at any time. Mm-hmm. We also, I mean, we also serve a ideology. It's probably a little more advanced than what you're used to. Um it's it's a thigh ideology. You just you just go somewhere and they're like, "Hey man, what's your belief system? Uh, cookies and tushy, <laughs> pities and t- pities and cookies." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cookies and milf. I mean milf. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that yeah. having been said, mm-hmm. uh, man, hmm. uh, we're gonna be reading today. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that, that's early. I I meant to say <laughs> I, I, I also meant to say I I also meant uh, to say, uh, uh-huh. we have officially wrapped up the uh, script writing sessions for Slime Nine, and we'll be moving completely over to uh, the visuals, and we'll get to casting for those roles very very soon. For mm-hmm. the new roles for the children's stuff like that. The childers, yeah. The children's. I can't I can't wait to hear uh I can't wait to hear Shim voice Bernie Sanders episode nine. Good. You don't know if Bernie Sanders is in there or not. <laughs> I mean they they might gather from the thumbnail if you got a keen eye, but you know. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Mm-hmm. But no, perhaps. um we gotta get the kids, we gotta get mm-hmm. some villains, we gotta get a whole bunch of people cast. There's like at least seven people that we have to cast. We got to cast Ramirez, Yuki, and then all the kids. Yuki, Miki, Wiki, and Aki. <laughs> Take place in high schools because in Japan, after you graduate, your life is basically over. That sucks. <laughs> have to commit entirely to a career from uh... that point on. That's also yeah. why suicide is so common. Jesus oh. Christ. Mm. Wow. I can't say that you're wrong and it kind of sucks. On that depressing note. <laughs> yeah. Well. So I'm assuming college is not a very common route for students to go to. A lot of them well, they they try to it's because yeah. the need to succeed in that mm-hmm. pressure is so like ridiculous. But there's a lot yeah. of really cool jobs in Japan, and you don't have to be an author. Uh, if you nice. get if you guys get the chance, check out Paulo in Japan. He's got some cool shit. Um, Is that like a blog or something? In Not a way, a blog, he but... does a lot of day in the life of stuff. He's done mm-hmm. day in the life of a mangaka twice. Um, mm-hmm. It's it it's pretty cool good. If you need a VA, I can do a mean Billy Mays. We're not currently looking for a Billy Mays sound alike. Not yet. But thank you. We'll keep you in mind. We know where to go. <laughs> just be like those guys. Oh, just be like just be like every audition ever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> oh God. <laughs> My first audition was was fun. <laughs> and wasn't totally nerve wracking for me trying to frantically find a spot to record in the house that wasn't staticky and awful. <laughs> I that was a fun time. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about either. I'm a professional. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that hasn't yep. been said. Yeah. Um. Mm. Oh 
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen of the congregation, Billy Mays here to tell you about. <laughs> I, I don't have a thing. Um, <laughs> wait, hold on. Billy May is here. There you go, you got Billy it, you May got is here to talk to you about the state fighting power of Veldora Tempest. The state fighting power of beer. Those states will be gone momentarily, yeah. as will the rest of everyone and everything you know and love. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I think that's all the updates I have left. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, we will be, uh, I am talking to Tony about making a, uh, Minecraft voice and text channel specifically for our server, because we know we're going to be getting more people jumping in. And yes, the server is open to the public and it is open 24 seven. We do have anti-griefing stuff on there. And yes, you will have to wait to join until you are whitelisted. And if you act like an ass, you will be gone. Do not destroy other people works generally come in be creative hang out with us don't be a tool mm -hmm. pretty much it that having been said should be easy rules yeah uh that having been said uh lastly but not least i am not going to apologize for blowing up the way i did at the end of mishoku tensei on saturday on saturday uh don't spoil stuff for people here okay mm. we're trying to be nice about it but if you spoil something for me I will get. I will go off, and I already talked to Tony about it. Let him know in advance. He said, "No, I understand you spoiling that, and I also understand like you going off on piracy." And I'm like, "It's as simple as this, guys. If you pirate your anime, don't fucking tell me about it. Because the moment you tell me you go to a piracy site, I'm gonna lay into you. I have friends that work in the industry. Their livelihoods depend on that. That's how they pay their bills. That's how they put food on their table." That's they keep their kids alive. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not okay with that shit. So you telling me that you pirate your shit, I'm going to tell you, awesome. Please go the fuck away and don't ever watch my shit again. I don't need you as a fan. Like, uh, it is highly, it is highly disrespectful to myself to have people like that as friends. Like, I get being broke, but like anybody who has a habit, You'll fucking find a way to get the money on it. Yeah, like, or you can just wait until it's all out as and then just who, buy the Blu-ray. As, as someone who was so, previously a smoker. I like having physical stuff. As anyway. somebody who had a an unfortunate time of their youth, I'm telling you, you will find ways to get the stuff that you need. You will find the money. Mm -hmm. Um, Going off on the spoiler dates. Oh, and the piracy dates. Mm -hmm. nothing will set me off faster and i don't intend to uh end today's stream on a bad note so if you piss me off about some shit like that i'm just gonna hand it over to somebody else and i'm gonna mute and go away in peace so that having been said <sighs> don't do that shit oh wait hold on Please log support horizon. the official release. Let me let me log horizon this shit. Yeah, yeah, we don't really say it a lot in the beginning of our shows, mm -hmm. but maybe maybe we should start doing it. You know, this is a fan based parody. Please go buy the fucking shit. <laughs> support yeah. the official release. Hey, look, we read yeah. the light novels because we bought them. Oh, hey, look, we edit the show because we bought the fucking show. Because we bought the goddamn Blu-ray. Yes, mm -hmm. it was expensive. But anybody that sits there and tells me any bullshit about how expensive anime is, oh, I can't afford anime. It's so fucking expensive. I was an anime fan in the 90s and the early 2000s. Let me go call the ambulance for you. There are several seasons that are kind of covered up by the bottom row over here of Ron the One Half. One season was five DVDs. It cost me $149.99 a box. I have five of them. You don't know how good you got it. Please shut the fuck up. Me anime. Yeah. And then uh, this will be the last I say of it. If you don't think that you can afford your anime and you want to go pirate it, 
don't fucking tell me about it. You come bragging to me about how you don't pay for your anime. There's the door out of the fandom. I'll do the Please opposite. take it. Please take it before one of us drop kicks you out of it. That having been said, for the rest of you, thank you for showing up. Yeah. All right, Adam. Tranquil as a forest. Ladies and gentlemen of the congregation, please oh, open your holy books of Rimuruism to page 51 of the physical copy. What of the digital copy should they be turning to a deacon sham? Uh, page 55, my lord. <laughs> I love that you're all like... You got a, you got a super sentai pose. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of that one trailer yeah. I saw. Literally, uh, a super sentai guy, color red, uh, Falls in uh, love, falls in love with one of the girls on the enemy team, and wants mm. to date her. And it's so stupid, but I love it. But you be mean, careful with the drop cute. kicking. We don't need Toby hurt. Yeah. He's in the other room. He'll be fine. All right. Yeah. He's that protected. having been said, Shim, yeah. you're gonna take yeah. over from the beginning this time. Okay. No problem. Let's get to it. Uh, I believe we are on. There was panic in the aisles, right? Yes, indeed. Cool. Let's make sure. Very much like a wedding, there was panic in the aisles. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> All right. I got the disco. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I, mean, I know. <laughs> I gotta go clean my glass. Yeah. All right. There was panic in the aisles, a lot more than I was expecting. You would think the apocalypse was here. Man, the Veldora. Guess that Storm Dragon stuff wasn't just a nickname after all. I suppose I should have expected it, having a catat or cat catastrophe rated monster. Uh. Do I practice Rimuruism? Yeah, probably. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure about the exercise. Uh, he didn't say anything about not posting it, but oh, anyway. Guess that Storm Dragon stuff wasn't just a nickname after all. I suppose I should have expected it. Having a catastrophe-rated monster, the highest level of danger there was, stroll into the meeting hall without warning was bound to lead to chaos. They were treated as stronger than demon lords, even. But think about it. If that guy's gonna sow chaos sooner or later, might as well get his intro out of the way quickly. Considering my plans, I couldn't leave Valdora and his motivations out of the picture. So I wanted him here, even if it left the other guests limp and pale with terror. As much as Valdora was keeping his aura bottled up, some of it might have been hitting them all anyway. Benimaru, Shion, and my other leaders shut off their auras as a habit. Something we were all used to by now was that the weaker monsters and humans were frequent visitors. Diablo, despite being the new guy, could fully switch it off without me having to ask. I was honestly impressed. He was a good model for the others to follow. <clears throat> so Veldora was a problem in that aspect, but thanks to our intensive training, he could now adjust his aura on the fly. He proudly proclaimed it was like child's play to him, but it was really more thanks to the ultimate skill Faust, Lord of Investigation. With that, I figured he'd be fine to bring out. Was that too optimistic, maybe? After all, even when sealed away, his aura was still daunting enough to keep any monster rank B or below at bay. I ran analyze and assessed on mag the magicals that filled the hall. No problems there, so the cause would have to be... Rimuru? Or, excuse me, Rimuru? We need to talk. Gazel was there, giving me a pat on the shoulder and a threatening smile. Let's delay this summit so I may have some time. He must have been serious about it, giving his shouting earlier. My instincts told me not to defy him, so I declared recess and stood up. I didn't hear any complaint or complaints from the gallery, not that all of them were conscious enough to voice them. Leaving the hall to my assistance, we moved into the reception area. I left Veldora behind at Gazel's request, which I figured wouldn't be a problem. Some of the attendees, the three Beasketeers included, were so keen on currying favor with the Storm Dragon that I was sure he'd be occupied for at least a little while. Series of ellipses? Nice hat. <laughs> Looks cool. I was alone in the room with Gazel and Erald. Shuna was off brewing tea. F oh, you like my hat, huh? Again, I have been given full freedom of action by Her Excellency, the Heavenly Emperor. It is my word that will decide the position of the Sorceress Dynasty of Ta uh, Thalion, excuse me. And I would advise you to keep that in mind as you explain all this to me. The doting father, Errol, was a distant memory. Oh, wait, I forgot to give him, like, the Mandark voice. He held himself with. 
So Dalion Hold wouldn't on. be you're freezing. What's up? Oh, I am. Yeah. Really? Sometimes, sometimes, like you freeze and it just. Really? I had the stream on and it was going okay and it's smooth. Okay. Is it going okay now? On okay. Discord, it just appears that you're freezing. Yeah, that's really weird. Well, because. Okay, no, you're okay. Because sometimes it freezes on your end too, so I don't know. It's probably just mm, buffering the signal okay. or something. So, on the stream, it sounded pretty good to me though. But if if anything happens, just feel free to say stuff in the chat. So you <laughs> like, so you like my hat? I do like your hat. Mm-hmm. Let's see. My I was alone in the room. <laughs> your grandpa hat? No, it's my grandpa's hat. It's oh, grandpa's okay. Hat. I thought you called it a grandpa hat, and I was like, well, Dude, I mean, it's technically, a lot technically, it is. Yeah. Of course, and he redeemed Toby Pets. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I didn't redeem it, but they did. Well, not redeemed, but you know, you have you have given them. I have to him. granted Toby. You have granted, yeah. I was alone in the room with Gazel and Errol. Shuna was off brewing tea for the whole conference while Benny Morrow and Shion fought to calm things down. Let me just say this first, Errol began. I have been given full freedom of action by Her Excellency, the Heavenly Emperor. It is my word that will decide the position of the Sorceress Dynasty of Thalion. And I would advise you to keep in mind, or keep that in mind, as you explain this all to me. The doting father Erald was a distant memory. Here was the Thalian statesman, the face of an all-powerful nobility, and even I had to admire the dignity he held himself up with. So Thalian wouldn't be willing to sweep this incident under the rug. He didn't voice any. Excuse me, I had to go back. He didn't voice any intention of his hostilities against us. But depending on what I decided to do, we might become foes regardless. At the same time, I figured he also had to clean up after Ellen. With what with everything she's been doing around here, which meant, hey, if we weren't enemies, uh, it couldn't be a problem to ask for an alliance. All right, I promise I'll be honest with you as well. He seemed to be speaking. F- oh, that's him. He seemed to be speaking frankly with me. I should be just as serious with him. So our confidential talks began. We kicked things off with, Ga- or we kicked off with Gazel. So what did you want to talk about? Or so what did you want to talk about? Certainly not the weather, you fool. Not even the Dwarven King could hide his shock as he excitedly half or excuse me. Not even the Dwarven King could hide his shock as he excitedly half shouted at me. Why has the Storm Dragon been resurrected? That was a rare sight from the normally cool headed Gazel. He must have really flipped his lid. I thought about talking my way out of this, but More there was no lid. Yeah, I mean he just he's just there. So <laughs> So I decided to summarize things at least, the part about, or at least the part about how I ran to Valdora in the cave and agreed to help him out of his prison. Cali from the valley. God. <laughs> like, once I wrapped up, Gazo groaned, a hand covering his face. This is beyond all expectation. You becoming a demon lord is a problem in itself without this to contend with. I, like, thought about lightening the mood by saying, oh, no, no, no need to compliment me that much. But I like fucking opted against it. If I was wrong, it'd send Gazo flying into a fucking rage. So, oh, so, Sir Rimaru, is that really, truly? I nodded at Erald. Veldora was in like human form and hiding his aura, perhaps making it a tad hard to swallow. God. My God. Stop. I'm a child. I am a child. I am too. Yeah. I. Suppose it would have to be. Or, I suppose it would have to be, he observed. No one man or monster would be foolish enough to pretend to be that terrible dragon. I suppose not, but that must be why Ellen and Fuse were so readily accepting. Names held particular importance for monsters, but even a human would earn no advantage whatsoever from pretending to be the storm dragon, and Gazel never doubted it from the start. I asked him why later, but his reply was simple. Because I couldn't read. You couldn't what? Aha! Aha! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, you couldn't yeah. what? You couldn't what? Oh, yeah, well, what? You, you what? did freeze in an, on the stream, in fact. So. Oh, really? Yeah, like, did when I... I say you freeze, I don't mean your video froze. Oh, like my voice kind of stopped? everything, like everything. So. What the fuck? Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. Hopefully it's not my firewall again acting up. I don't think it would be though, because otherwise the connection would just be stopped. <laughs> Bless you. Honestly, this is the first uh, time. This is the uh-huh. first time I've had issues with uh, your stuff. Audio. Yeah, I. 
I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't keep up, but if it does, just feel Ari, free to be. Ari, it's not that the ex- it's not that I'm putting mm-hmm. exercises off limits. It's just when you give me like fifty plus at once, it's not gonna be worth it. Like if I've been exercising the whole time, and then at the end you want to drop another fifty of everything on me for that one set of exercises, no. No, that is excuse me. Like, yeah. Here's the thing, I'm not in my twenties. I can't do that shit anymore. And even then, that's a lot for a twenty year old. Well, so, I mean, a decent amount, but you know, it, it depends on what type of twenty year old. When I was in my twenties, I was like, uh, for the first two years of it, at the very least, I was in the military. Mm. All right. Anyway, what let's keep going. Do, yeah. What should we do with this, though? Indeed, Errol said to his fellow king. And here I am, already frantic enough, attempting to clean up after all my daughter's misdeeds. I suppose the two were much closer friends than they seemed at first glance. Do we announce this, or do we cover it up? There's the problem. The West, the Western nations. Are- uh, the Western nations are not a concern. Wait for Let's see the emperor and no the one Western else. Western nations but... are not a concern. Is where it goes in. Oh, really? Yeah. I was hearing it in the stream. Okay, so I don't know if that's just between you and I or the stream. Uh, hold on, on. This, uh, when I'm I'm looking over at uh mm-hmm. Discord or not mm-hmm. Discord. I'm looking over at uh OBS and you were frozen. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. Guys, on on the stream, is he, like, stopping? See, yeah, they just I... got to the... So, we just got the replies about the yeah. exercise stuff. Let's see. Either that or my chat's not updating, but, like, the stream is going... Because I'm on the stream right now, but it's weird. Uh, Should I continue? Uh, Is he freezing up? Is he freezing up on the stream? Yes. Uh, he just stops, and then it's, like, we don't hear him. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Well, thank you. Hold on. Let me disconnect from the voice chat real quick and come back on. Okay. Maybe that will help. Okay. They are saying, yeah. So he is cutting off. Because he's got a few more pages. He's got up until 60. We're on 54. So he's got at least six more pages. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Is that okay? Hold on. Let me see. You've got at least six more pages. Trying to fix this. I don't. I don't exactly know if it's like. I don't know if it's my internet or my laptop or what. Do you want to? So, do you want to just uh, restart your computer? Or jump to a new computer. Temporary. Uh, I could. If it stops one more time, I'll go and reset. Okay. Uh, if that uh, happens, I'll take over for you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, claiming fucking ruining the stream. Right. Issue with reporting this to her excellency the emperor and no one else wait but hold on. where huh. where did you start uh the western nations are not a concern okay, i'm on page we literally so. all right when you started oh. i heard nothing and then oh. when you took kicked back in we heard issue with reporting oh, okay maybe i should just go reset real quick i'll be right back i apologize right. no you're good it could be on my end i don't know yeah hang on let me check Uh, no, it's just all right. CPU is really low. It's a, it's around thirteen percent. Memory's at sixty two. That can't be it. Yeah. Let's see if I close out of the game, but I don't think that's it. All right. All right, kids. Here we go. Indeed. Said Harold, following his. Uh, all right, there we go. Let me get closer to the, to the mic. I apparently sound a lot louder <laughs> when I'm doing Mishoku Tensei because I'm reading it on the screen. All right, there we go. Indeed, Harold said to his fellow king, and here I am, already frantic enough, attempting to clean up after all my daughter's misdeeds. I suppose the two were. Much closer friends than they seemed at first glance. 
Uh, do we announce this or do we cover it up? There's the problem. Uh, the Western nations are not a concern, Harold said. Even in Thalion, I see no issue with reporting this to Her Excellency the Emperor and no one else. But, but the Western Holy Church, yes. Secretly will earn us uh, secrecy will earn us nothing with them. The church has made it clear the storm dragon is the one dragon type they are most hostile to. If it's resurrected, they would know immediately. And if we tried to hide it, we would need to feign ignorance, which would be impossible to back up. Either way, he would be branded an enemy of God in short order. The two pondered what to do. Me? Oh, I was just saying, mm-hmm, or yeah, now and every... Uh, now and then. Not a bad gig. Are you listening, Riveru? Yes. You're the one who roped us into this crisis. Oh, oh, it's like, yes, you're the one who roped us into this crisis. One that puts a great deal of trouble upon all of us. We need to know, uh, we need you to think more seriously about matters, or, or I don't know what we'll do. Oops, guess they're pissed off. Let's just be a bit more apologetic and give my side of the story. Well, there's no way to fully hide Veldora, so my intention is to let the word out to the public. There's no way my nation's going to avoid the church's eyes anyway, so, you know, I'll figure something out. Hmm. Gazel nodded. If that is your decision, I have no qualms with it. Demon Lord and Dragon joining hands is not at all a laughing matter. This has become a more pressing issue than... Even I had thought at first. But looking at it another way, this is also a stroke of good luck. Being able to participate in this summit, I have obtained exactly the information we need to decide how our country will stand. Harold, meanwhile, was discussing his country's standpoint. More than his... Richie, I move away from the microphone to breathe. <laughs> anyway, no, I really don't. Uh, his take, it would be foolish to pick a fight against a nation with both a disaster-class demon lord and a catastrophe-class dragon. Gazel agreed with him, solemnly nodding. In terms of international pedigree, Tempest couldn't hold a candle to superpowers like Dwargan and Thalion. But if you focus solely on military strength, we didn't just match these guys, we surpassed them. Gazel and Erold, in their own ways, were admitting to that. Should I take that to mean, I ventured, that should hostilities break out between us and the Western Church, you will take our side? That is what you ask? Gazel bitterly countered. Rimuru, you truly must learn how to express these things better. Thank heavens this is a confidential talk. As he explained, just because he had no reason for Dwargan to see Tempest as a foe, didn't mean he was obligated to expose his own nation to danger. That was doubly true in the case for the Western Holy Church, which the Dwarven Kingdom was not particularly connected to. Instead, all he could promise was that we, would, uh, we could retain current relations, the neutrality being the word of the day. Oh, uh, with neutrality being the word of the day. Net neutrality being the word of the day. Hi, Excuse I hear me. you. Hi. Hi. Uh, I don't know if it's good yet. I'm just getting into the street right now. Um, do I sound <laughs> decent to you guys? I mean, yeah. Okay, just making sure because I don't. I just sound bad. I just don't know if you froze up yet or not. Yeah, I don't know. Because it sounded like it was smooth on my end coming from the stream, but from them it sounded like it was cutting off. So I don't know. That's weird. Anyway. Well, there is a delay. There is a delay? Yeah, there is a delay between what you say to what ends up on the stream. It's usually about... Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delay. Yeah, I usually have the volume down pretty low. Yeah. So I don't hear both myself and that as bad. So, okay, cool. I'm wondering... Okay, sorry. Go ahead. I cut you off. That left Errol... Archduke of a nation, I hadn't even begun to try establishing relationships with. 
despite the circumstances, he seemed oddly willing to let things, uh, to see things my way so far at least. Okay. All right, so you're going to take over it. I'm glad you have, I, I'm glad to have your support, Gazel. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm glad to have your support, Gazel. So, um, Mr. Um, Sir Errold, could I ask why you are being so kind to me with this? They all look similarly reluctant to put into words. You know, you can... Nope, there it went. Okay. Yep, nothing got public. fixed. Nothing got fixed? Nope, it still just did it. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Check the stream. Okay. I'm wondering if... Hmm. I'm going to try something. Maybe if I turn off my camera. Yeah, yeah, literally on the stream it just passed the moment that it... Let's see. Maybe just don't have the stream open. Yeah, maybe. That might be it. Let me leave and then see if that fixes it, and then you just tell me what's going on there. Uh, because I know that sometimes my computer has problems with that. Yeah. But it's weird, because, like, the stream sounds fine on my end, but I don't know. Anyway, I'll just keep reading. Well, again, I literally uh. just watched you frozen. Like, your face was frozen and everything, and I'm like, okay, cool. Like, everybody else saw him be frozen, right? Like, everybody else saw him frozen? What the? Yeah. So if you turn off the stream, you might be able to do video. Okay. All right. All right. I think it's uh hit also hit control shift escape. Okay. I'm on a Mac, so let me see. Oh, I don't know. That might be it too. <laughs> yeah. Check well, that. you're wanting me to open up the task manager. Yes. Okay. Technical issues, yay. Well, okay. I mean, it wouldn't be a fat dog stream without them. Man, space. Okay. All right, there are a lot of processes happening right now. That's what I figured was part of it. Yep, probably. Hold on. How overloaded is your computer on the percentage of things like memory and CPU? That's the first thing. Sixty percent is devoted to of the CPU is devoted to Discord. Uh everything else is pretty slow or small though, percentage wise. Sixty percent to Discord. Yeah. Is that normal? I don't know. I have I to go double check is. on that. Yeah. Dude, my CPU, when I open it, is in, like, below the 15% mark. Hmm. Because I was told that, like, Discord does pretty high CPU usage, but I have to go check on this. Uh, check. My memory is at 61%. My CPU usage is... My system percentage used is 18%. User is 27%. Idle is 54%, so. Let's see. Huh. It's still a lot, though. Yeah. And like it's that, weird, because I haven't had this problem before, so I'm wondering if, like, Apple is like, oh, you have to do a system update, but until uh, then... See, system, a... Right now, my system is at... Uh, Discord is taking up 5% of my CPU. Mm -hmm. Nowhere near. Yeah, so that's weird. Yeah, that's usually weird. when this happens, it's usually like a memory, well, not memory issue, an update issue. Okay. And then, like, once I reset, maybe it's okay, but we'll see. But you it's weird because I keep reset. it to automatically go up the date. Yeah, I did, but I was just like, I don't know what's going on with that. Huh. Um, how's is I can't read the chat right now. Is the stream going okay? Uh, so far. Okay, so hmm. maybe I just don't go on to the chat then, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I, I guess I'll just do that, and you just tell me what I, if they need to redeem. So, I mean, that's what I was going to be doing anyway. So there you yeah, go. that's fine. Until I can figure out a substitute and figure out what's going on. I, there is an update available for my computer, so maybe that's the thing. So, you want to go I didn't ahead think it was and do that? that? Old, but 
Uh, I could, but it could take a little while. So How long if the stream take? is going good, it could take like a couple minutes. But let me like 10 that's, or 15. That's okay. that's okay. I mean, if I move, okay. if I just keep reading, like I've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, I've got about four more pages easily of content okay. to read. Okay, so, then I'll go ahead and start yeah, doing that. Go then. ahead and do that. Yeah. Yeah, I apologize again. No, I don't know no, why it's this all is good. going on. So. Shit happens. And apologize to all you guys out there. So, but I'll go. I'll go uh, fix that. Okay. And see if it helps. So. Okay, I've got all five of my exercises. I have to do ten of. So once cool. I get to that next part, I'll do my exercises. Is that what time to do that? All right. All cool. Right. I'll go Ready? ahead and do that. Yep. See you in a bit. All right. Here we go. Harold looked similarly reluctant to put it into words. You know you can call me whatever you like here, sir or not. Just please be sure to include my name and uh, appellation. Is it appellation? That's new. In public. Sir Ribiru, as the leader of a nation, there is absolutely no reason to place yourself below the leader... Uh, below other leaders on the record. Not unless you are eager to become their vassal territory or of another nation. But to answer your question. Uh, funny how he's taking pains to save me from embarrassment. I guess he's got a kinder side as well. I thanked him for that, only to be greeted with a stare and a long sigh before he began to explain why he was here and what he wanted. It all started with Ellen, his daughter. Her leaking info about how to awaken as a demon lord had led to an investigation as to who should be held responsible. It was kind of like she had created a new one, I suppose. And no nation could afford to ignore that. But then the Archduke sprang into action. Uh, yeah, someone like Errold had enough strength to kill the whole affair. And he did making sure only the Emperor knew the truth. All that remained was for him to gauge the situation and take action as necessary. Oh, hi, Calvin. Are you showing up today? Would you like to read? Or is work being too much? Are we, are we jumping in the Minecraft server later? Yeah. What is... Where's the oh hype wave? Yeah, thanks for the hype, Calvin. All right, um, uh, keeping tabs on us magically was apparently quite a uh, strenuous feat for him, but he's still. I would love an assistant. Uh, currently, um, Shem is going through some computer issues that are causing him to freeze up. Uh, on Discord, like the. Video will freeze and we'll hear nothing, and then it'll kick back in, and suddenly he's like half a sentence on. <laughs> I do need an assist. Do you have volume six? I don't just jump into streams all willy nilly like Rick. Aww, snap. Yeah, but you've always been welcome here. We started this with you, sir. Tim is battling Clayman's forces. That's that's also true. All right. Anyway, where were we? Uh, but it's been so long. Yeah, that's why you're due. That's why you're due to come back. Yeah. Uh, what page? On the physical volume, we're fifty six. All right. <sighs> Keeping tabs on us magically was apparently quite a strenuous feat for him, but he still managed to confirm that I had indeed become a demon lord. He could have just played dumb if I had failed, but once, uh, he could have just played dumb if I'd failed, but once I did, I could no longer be ignored. So, he was here to size me up and potentially send a force over to suppress me should things go awry. So, he said in concluding, in closing, I wanted as few people to be aware of those facts as possible. Thus, I came out here myself. 
In other words, I suppose, if he thought I was an evil presence, he would have destroyed us all and pretended nothing had ever happened. And what's your decision, then? Well, as I said before, my decision for today is friendship over hostility. Aha! That makes sense. And being seen as non-evil made me kind of happy, too. <laughs> A fairly obvious choice, Gazel retorted. Of course, our nation enjoys freedom of religion. Our people adhere to the to more than only the monotheistic luminous faith. I seek to prioritize the futures of our nation rather than sacrifice myself for the sake of religion. I never did like you, Harold, but we keep agreeing on these matters. My nation and the Western Holy Church do not share a common motive either. From the very beginning, I intended to support our friends in Tempest. They shared a smile. But this doesn't mean we're without problems of our own. For example, for example the farmer's force that Sir Rimuru destroyed. Whether it was war or not, the death toll is simply too high. Harold scowled. And to think it was my daughter... Oh, and to think it was my daughter who planted that seed. So that was his real motivation then. The problem wasn't whether I was evil or not. It lay in whether the distance, the circumstances of the battle was known to the Western Holy Church. A demon lord who killed 20,000 was going to look pretty damn evil to just about any sane person. It would, lead, it would lend valuable credence to the church's declarations, and I'd be named an enemy of God in short order. Now I see. The fallout from forging friendly ties with us, uh, ties with such an evil presence, i.e. me. Hi, Calvin. Hi. Could be uncomfortable for any nation to deal with. Sounded rough. I began wondering what we could do about that before Gazel grinned at me. Don't worry, I've got an idea. Oh? Oh, don't worry, I've got an idea. Oh, could it be? The way Gazel went on about how the Farmus army went <coughs> missing earlier? All the bodies are gone. There is no evidence, and scarily enough, there are no survivors either, are there? He smiled. Then why not change the plot to whatever we damn well want it to be? Hi, Char. Hi. Okay, I'm on page 58 now, so. What volume? Six. Same one we were on last time. Okay, chapter, please. One. Okay, sweet. We haven't, we, we never passed chapter one. Because it was 80 freaking pages. <laughs> like 82 pages for chapter one, and I'm just like, yeah, we're not getting through that in a day. Okay. Uh, we're waiting on Shim to come back. He's, his computer's been having issues. He said he may need to update it. Because mm -mm. he was freezing partway through the stream. Mm -hmm. uh, we never even made it to the first set of dots. So here Oops. we are. That's all right. The common people, along with the rest of the world, they didn't need they didn't need the truth. Just give them a nice sounding story and everyone would be happy. Oh, a fantastic offer, Harold said, eyes shining as he went back into statesman mode. Do you mind if I contributed to that, Gazel? He must have intended to fabricate a convenient story. One that ensured none of our lands were dirt, or none of our hands were dirty. That helped out Ellen. He no doubt believed, and somewhere down the line, it even helped Thalion's forces. Better go all in on this, then. Besides, I had already decided to keep my nation safe, even if it meant massacring twenty thousand. Even if I had to shoulder heavier crimes, that faith of mine wasn't going anywhere. I suppose you have the broadest. Uh, broadness of mind to deal with whatever you may come, Rimuru. Very well. A king must never live with regrets. Yeah, no point ruining the past. That was part of the initiation, and I intended it. Oh, and I needed it, sorry. I'm ready for anything, but what's the story you have in mind, Gazel? <laughs> well said. Gazel's eyes on me softened. We had a little time left for a great number of details to work out. 
The chaos had subsided by the time we were back in the meeting hall. Cooler heads had prevailed and the unconscious had been attended to. <laughs> yep, Fuse fell over. Aw, oh, look, somebody re redeemed Bestest Boy. That's great. Aww. Mm. And he's here for it, too. <laughs> yeah. Fuse and Ellen and the others were sprawled out on their chairs, all but lifeless. Are you all right? How are you feeling? I heard nothing about this devastating news. You just awful, Rimuru. I didn't hear anything about that. Feldora was your friend? Did you ever mention that? They had a lot of, shall we say, negative feedback. I mean, what do you want from me? I couldn't really say, well, I had swallowed him into my stomach, and even if I did, they'd never believe me. Oh, didn't I? I think I did, maybe. Well, there's no point dwelling on the past. Come on, we got a summit to run. <laughs> Damn breezy ass. <laughs> Fucking Rimuru. What kinds of cookies does Veldora favor? Chocolate chip. Duh. There you go. Um. I mean, that's the only answer. No, no, no. Tempest no, no. worships cookies, no. oh, and they're no, mainly no. chocolate chip. No, no, no. No, that's not. That's not a hundred percent true. Uh, he could he he may prefer cinnamon more because it's got a hotter kick. Mmm. Yep. Maybe so. Yeah, snickerdoodle cookies may probably be more up his alley. Yeah, snickerdoodles definitely. All right. I tried to, I tried to give them a, as breezy a smile as possible. It didn't work. Okay. Don't gloss over it. They all shouted in unison. Goblina cookies. Yeah, Goblina cookies. That's the one. Yes. All right. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I did what I could to soothe them, smiling as I kept chattering away. Why, why are they acting so mean to me, though? I'm a demon lord now, and they're treating me the exact same way which I was glad for. I didn't want things to get all distant and weird, but maybe a little more respect. Okay, I think we're good on that. Are you even listening to me? Ellen protested. You could at least try to be a little more apologetic. Yeah, she's right, pal. This has been hard on the old ticker, commented Guido. Respect seemed like a distant dream at the moment. Of course, it's totally in character for them. Fuse hadn't changed either. Ah, uh, I just... How am I going to report this to my boss? Wait, I'm a guildmaster, aren't I? He had already accepted the situation just as bold and brazen as before. I can believe this was the guy who let Veldora freak him out a moment, or a moment ago. If I hadn't advised him to use the bathroom earlier, I'm sure he would have peed his pants. I congratulated him on that. He glared back at me. As if none of this is your fault. I'm going to report this in detail to my bosses. Then bill you for the mental distress you're putting me through. And here I was expecting him to thank me for my timely advice. Now he's angrier than ever. Well, whatever. At least my, joke ar uh, at least my joking around helped Fuse find his voice again. Okay. Calvin, you can take over. Okay. <clears throat> we are on page 60. So everyone had now accepted Veldor, more or less. It was another hour before we finally got the summit rolling again. Now we were starting for real. Hydrate. With... It was redeemed. Hydrate. Mm. Alrighty. I'm gonna go do my exercises <sighs> okay. now. Okay. Our conflict with claiming repair remained an internal affair for the moment. That could wait. Zoe gave me a quick report, but apparently they couldn't discover Clayman's main base of operations. The fact that he had an army on the move was concerning, but Zoe was keeping up his watch. Nothing new was going to happen with that immediately, so I decided to get this summit wrapped up first. I decided to be begin with a recap, as annoying as it was to me. 
We had all been through a lot, but laying out everything in detail to everyone at once should save us time later. I wanted everyone to be on the same page. So I began by relating how I met Veldora, dropping in my status as an otherworlder along the way. Hiding my origins seemed meaning meaningless at this point. All of my people in Tempest knew, and I had no vested interest in keeping them from uh, keeping it from Gazel or Arold. It's not like a demon lord also being an ex otherworlder would give them anything new to work who uh, had to work with against me. Leon was one himself, after all. I gave a quick summary of the Orc Lord fight and how it led to us building the town here. Sharing information was important, even if doing so led people to react in different ways. Moving on, I shifted my shifted to my voluntary journeys in Inglesia. This involved a lot of glossing over my life there, along with the request I received from Yuki. But I did go into detail about my fight with Hinata. Man, she was rough. If it had been anyone besides me, they probably would have been killed. Benimaru or, Benimaru or Soa, even. Wait, hang on. Is there a pause there, or...? Oh, I lost my place. Oh. Um, it's her skills were on par. Uh, her skills were on, thank you. Her skills were on par with or beyond Hakuro's. And she could cast magic, the likes of which I never saw before. Pally from the Valley yeah. has been redeemed. Ah-ha! Ah, jeez. Uh. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> like that holy field one was particularly nasty like i used that communication to let everyone else experience my memory and recognition of it even she might have a she have she might have like a smaller version of that in her pocket like ready to spring uh, spring on single targets i didn't think anyone could in, in the <laughs> I didn't think anyone in the room could, could could do much against it, but like it was better than going on nothing. The more they knew about the tr uh, the threat Hinata posed, the better. They might be able to like escape at least. <laughs> that, that's the best I'm gonna do. <laughs> Congratulations on graduating. Hinata from Sakaguchi. Dave, though that is basically just it was Fuse who reacted first. Trophy. She may seem cruel at first. I suppose she gives the impression of a crazed murderer to most. But according to the information we have, she's actually a little different from all that. For one thing, she's always willing to extend a helping hand to anyone who depends on her. And anyone willing to accept her help is sure to receive it. But if you don't listen to her advice, she'll never deal with you again. Whatever her motivations, though, I am assured she is a rational leader. He seemed to know a, uh, know a lot about her, and was willing to come to her defense, too. I didn't want to fight her, either. It's just that she didn't want to listen to my story one bit, you know? If she refuses to help people who ignore her, her own background and situation, that describes my interactions with her pretty well. She must have a ton of people seeking favors from her, and I can see how she'd want to ignore them after a while. Pragmatic would be the way to describe it. You could describe her as a realist, too. I'm sure Fuse's intelligence was valid. He sure seems well informed, doesn't he? Bestest boy. Has been Bestest redeemed. boy. Hmm. Yeah. So, so you must read all non character dialogue as Ranga for a paragraph. Okay. Yep. Godzell nodded at this. Hmm. The Guildmaster drew a bloom and clearly has a finger in every pie, as they say. Giggity. The accuracy of your information is equal only to that of my own dark agents. I will gladly testify that what you heard is exactly what we've heard. It's nice to have the confirmation, but... Maybe so, but she didn't listen to me at all. She didn't. From the get-go, I was her target. Even if someone was feeding her a line about me beforehand, it was like she was deaf to me. <laughs> well, Harold said... 
That would be because one core tenet of Luminism is that you are never allowed to bargain with monsters. I was surprised to hear that from him. Hinata was enough of a celebrity to even be known in Thalion, it seemed. She had a rep in places I never dreamed of. Although, I suppose any nation's intelligence agency would keep tabs on the most powerful knight in the Western Holy Church. Is she famous because she's beautiful? I thought for a moment, but decided it best, it best to keep that a secret. Following her guidance, I began to build a picture of Hinata in my mind. She was notorious for her cruel words and cold-hearted actions, but apparently she had never actually broken a single tenet of her religion. She was the model soldier in every way, an unblemished guardian of law and order. Dum dum. Mm. I I, also, I wish I had, wish I had that, wish I had that, uh, that sound on hand. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm not apologizing for redeeming Best Boy. Oh, it was you. Yeah, I redeemed yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm going to have to work on my breath control for uh <laughs> Well, you're going to have to record it for it soon, yeah. For, yeah, I was, was getting ready to say because I'm going to have to record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, man. That took, that took it out of me a little bit, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the worst part about... um. Freaking um, Mashoku, Mashoku Tensei is me having to come over to uh, go back to reading right after doing a bunch of different exercises and being out of breath for like five minutes. I was like, damn yeah. you, asthma! Aww. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Is so, it my turn? Or? Um, I'm uh, do you want to go after the after this paragraph? Or? Well, uh, no, we haven't gotten it to any dots or anything at the point at this point yet. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, page so sixty-six you... is when that will kick in. It's the top of sixty-six. Okay. Hey. So why didn't she put an end to the summoning rituals taking place worldwide? That kind of rapid fire, that kind of rapid fire summons favored by certain lands bore a very high chance of bringing children over. It was evil, really, on a national level. On the other hand, Fuse countered, do we really know for sure Hinata is aware of all the summoning and willfully ignoring it? A fair, a fair point, but... Summoning magic powerful enough to produce an otherworlder is a, a forbidden secret art, not the kind of magic you'll see in public. The Council of the West has criminalized it, and I'm sure you won't find a lot of nations who will voluntarily admit to it. They'll just say, no, we, we don't do that. And then make it impossibly uh, difficult. we don't do that. <laughs> They'll just pull a Luffy in one piece. Just, no, 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 we don't do that. And that's <laughs> the face that he made. I was going to be like, what, you just walk behind looking. him going. <laughs> yeah. Walk, walk, walk. <laughs> Anybody walk, who walk, made it walk, to, walk. Anybody who made it to G8 knows that one. Yeah, man. That's so yeah. cute. I love that. He's like, guy turns around. What's going on? You just hear him. But... <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. That was great. Um, also, Richie, I think you, if I remember correctly, you are the musical theater geek. Mm -hmm. I just listened to Cabaret, the song, and I'm like, yes, I know the show is dark, but I was thinking that the show would just be like, okay, it's a song and a cabaret kind of meant to take people away from the world, supposed to be happy, right? WRONG! It is depressing! But, um, when I was watching, essentially, the British Tony Awards, the Olivier's, last night, the way this person <clears throat> did it was just so captivating, and I'm like, wait, her makeup is smeared and it looks like she's been crying, and... Her singing voice is, like, nowhere near Liza Minnelli, but she's supposed to be, like, not the best singer in the world. So I just found all that super interesting. Anyway. That's my, that's my spiel on Cabaret. <laughs> you were not oh, ready no. for what you were getting into, huh? I was not. All right, Conta uh, continue on, Calvin. Sorry for the interruption. 
Okay, no worry. The Western Holy Church holds a lot of sway in their region, yes, but if we're talking about getting to the point of freely meddling in internal government politics, then no, it's not that deep. Even if a kingdom like Farmus used otherworlders as military weapons, I'm sure they'd just explain it away as, you know, discovering an otherworlder on their doorstep and giving them shelter. Without solid evidence, not even the church could investigate. You couldn't really complain that Hinata was negligent, per se. And that brought, some, uh, brought to mind something else Yuki had mentioned. If it seems the most effective way, to, if if something seems the most effective way to her, she'll do it. I guess you could say, but, but it makes no sense to me. No. Maybe Hinata really was working to stop this in her own way. If so, there was no point stewing about it here. The point is, I reflected, Hinata's is a serious threat. If I could at least get her to talk to me. We could, set, we could set something up where we don't have to be doomed to the death. But if the church labeled me a foe, for all di foe of all divinity, a duel would be unavoidable. I wanted to avoid that if possible, but if that happens, it happens. Oh, Diablo. Yay. <laughs> Perhaps I could go out and take care of her then? There is no other. Uh, there is no better way to quell your anxieties for the future than eliminating the problem from the start. No. Wow, Diablo, confident much? Being the new guy on the team must have been must have made him hungry for work. I, I <laughs> really wish he would think more before he opened his mouth. Whoa, man! You you realize that even I lost to. Uh, I'm. I mean, fought to an even tie with Hinata, right? Just because you're on the scene won't make it some open and shut case. He's right, Diablo, Shion added. If someone like you wants to face him down, then I'll, I'll go over there and finish her off first. I await your order, Sir Rimuru. See? First Diablo starts mouthing off, and then Shion joins the fray, and all goes battle crazy again. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not wrong. It's not wrong. It's not. <laughs> not wrong. Like, it's just, that's the perfect summary of what goes <laughs> <Yep>. on. <laughs> Someone talk shit? She, uh, she don't get triggered? Yeah. Battles are waged. <laughs> yeah. Wars are waged. She just anything about Rimuru. Oh, that's And then she's dirt. just like, you talking shit about him? You talking uh, shit about my mans? My <laughs> slimes? <laughs> Daxter 100% Diablo could probably take it. Uh, uh, like, uh. I'd say odds are fairly Probably good. Probably good, yeah. Yeah, I'd say odds are fairly good. Diablo can take it. Uh, at Demon Pier, which is what he's at right now, he's actually pretty even with uh, Guy. Mm. So, yeah, dude. Hmm. Now, now, Lady Shion, I do owe you a debt for teaching me the ins and outs of assisting Sir Rimuru, so I hardly wish to berate you. But I sadly cannot believe that you could defeat Hinata. <laughs> yeah, oh, <wrong>. really? <laughs> so you think you're stronger than I am? Well, fine. Let's go on and settle this for... We will settle nothing! I shouted to distract them. Diablo might have acted all calm and collected, but I guess he enjoyed egging people into a fight, too. He was polite to me, but that didn't seem to extend to the rest of his superiors. Pretty brazen for a new guy. And the way he provoked potential opponents was downright dangerous with the hyper-impulsive Shion. ha <laughs> So it's time for me to take action, is it? Very well. Allow me to just step out for a moment. You're not going anywhere, Veldora. If she targets us, we'll deal with it then. But there's no need to, f uh, to take a fight with her right now. Let me just repeat. I don't, I don't want to antagonize the Western Holy Church. I had forgotten Veldora was seated next to me. He was ready to fly out the door before I stopped him. Oh yeah, we stumbled onto uh, <clears throat> what we're going to do with practice of the church for the, for the a bridge. If Rimuru is in what practices... What are we going to do? If Rimuru has... Oh, yeah. If Rimuru is in practices worship of Cookie, then the Luminists are rap gods. Like, they're, they're rappers. So. Oh, God. Yeah. 
So you could say that Luminous is literally the rap god. Uh, so do we gotta get what I get? I don't know all the lyrics, but <laughs> so we need to cast rap god to, thing. We need to cast Eminem. Yeah, yeah. we need to cast like actual. <laughs> What do, you guys, what, do you, what do you guys say? What do you guys say? We should cast Eminem as Luminous. <laughs> Send him a picture of Luminous in her maid outfit and be like, hey, dude, we just need you to rap for a second on this girl. <laughs> Either that or the closest we could probably get to that is people on Epic Rap Battles of History. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Let's just reach probably out not fucking... like Nice Peter and Epic Lloyd. No, no, no. But no, no, no. Uh, let's guess. reach out to Epic Lloyd. Yeah, yeah. Let's reach out to Epic <laughs> Lloyd real quick. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. Riburu, no pissing off the Western Church. I've seen what the Catholics <clears throat> do when they get angered in the world, in my world. Don't oh, make them got... angry. This is, this is also from Ryuma. Shion, you talking shit about my lord and husbando? <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, all right. So there also, we go. I don't know if you saw, although I'm 99.9% .9 sure that you saw all the workouts you need to do. Yeah. Okay. I I've already done a large sum of them. I was waiting until we got to the next reader, and then I was gonna do the next set. Sounds so right good. Now, it's the twenty crunches, sure. the Russian twist, and the jumping jack because I did all the rest. Woo. Yeah. All right. All right, continue on. Mm. Sorry for the interruption. Okay. Man, all these problem children. They're growing fast, but still, education's so important for them. Come to think of it, Benny Maru and Soe weren't itching to start fights at all anymore, and Geld had enough common sense that I could rely on him. Gabiru got carried away a lot, but he still knew his place, so he never caused me any headaches. Plus, the way Raga practically resided in my shadow, ears perked up for my command, he was almost cute compared to the others. <laughs> it is confirmed. Ronk is cute. <laughs> I am? <laughs> yes. Ah, yes, yeah. you're a good boy. I was like, you shouldn't be talking about yourself like that, Ronga. That <laughs> seems rather egotistical. <laughs> <laughs> right, where was I? Oh, yeah. The big issue was with Shion, Diablo, and Feldora. Any mixture of the three was dangerous. I could feel my anxieties ramping up. Better be more careful dealing with them. Either way, either way, that's enough debate about Hinata and the church. We may fight them depending on how matters unfold, but I intend to proceed with caution and watch what happens. So that was settled. But one thing I couldn't forget was the presence of some someone maneuvering behind the scenes. Hinata knew about me. She had an informant, she said. But there weren't many people out there who I uh, who knew I killed Shizu. It'd be hard to identify the mole, but it had to be someone I knew. The Cabal Ellen Guido trio, Fuse, and a few other Blum uh, Blumundians, and Yuki. Beyond that, the only ones who knew uh, the only ones who knew all lived. The only ones who knew oh the only ones who knew all lived in this forest. But that would mean Raphael was busy deliver, uh, deriving a list of suspects for me. I appreciated his logic, but it could be someone or something who had no knowledge of who knowledge of who uh, of something we had no knowledge of at all. I didn't want to work with the wrong impression, and I didn't want to suspect anyone without real evidence. Better just lock that in my mind and keep my eyes open. What was the point behind having Hinata and, and me fight each other anyway? Was someone hoping I would dispatch her? Did they want to obstruct me from returning to town? Or did they want me to lure Hinata out into the open? Or all of those things. Seriously, Raphael? Talk about greedy. There were too many unknowns, and I couldn't shake the impression that I was being played like a fiddle. Let's just be patient for now. It can wait. All right. Now you will take over, Char. Okay. Getting back on track, I told the assembled group about how our town was attacked once I escaped Hinata, a wild, bloody conflict engineered by a clutch of Pharma's otherworlders. 
I wanted to do something for the victim, so I elected to make myself a demon lord. But before I could continue, Ellen made the confession herself. And my dad already knows, doesn't he? Like, that's the whole reason you're here, isn't it? Wow. The way she looked at Errol with those upturned eyes. Dangerously cute. The poor guy's like putty in her hands with that act. Ellen... <sighs> he sighed, resigned. It doesn't matter if I know or not. There's no need for other nations to know, too. I could guess how he felt. This really was Ellen's fault. What she did went beyond rocking the boat. It totally ignored the balance of this world. But Errol had guessed this would happen. I'm sure, he had said in our earlier secret talk, my daughter Ellen will reveal she gave you the Demon Lord's suggestion. The only way to stop her would be to drag her back home and she'd hate me for it. It would be a terrible plan. He might have tried sounding like an expert strategist when he said it, although he sounded more like an idiot to me. Hard to tell, really. But Errol's prediction was right, so maybe the former. I turned my eyes towards Gosel, a bit conflicted about all this. Seeing him nod back, I decided to proceed with this discussion the way we had planned. All right. And thanks to that, I used the assembled farmer's forces as a sacrifice and one thing led to another, and I successfully became a demon lord. That wrapped up the basic story I had. Now for the real work. So, right. Everything I just discussed with you is the truth, but what we'll announce to the public will be adjusted somewhat. The Tempestians in the audience seemed pretty thrown by this. To the monsters, brute strength meant everything. Something like fudging the details for the story we give in other nations must have seemed pointless to them, but lies and deceit are what politics are. What in the world? What is the reason for this? Benny Mato asked the group. And in what way would you change it? I was ready for this question. We worked that one out in advance, too. The way we'll do this is that I'll declare myself to be a demon lord, but we won't reveal that I've actually awakened. This is based on the assumption that other nations have no idea what actually went on around here. There's no way for them to investigate the facts. Every potential eyewitness is dead, and apart from those of us in the room, only three humans know the truth. Everyone knew that the King de Farmus was a greedy tyrant, so it would be easy to frame our actions as justifiable self-defense. By our logic, it'd sound far more credible if Farmus lost following a fully engaged battle rather than being annihilated by a single demon lord. We'll also say that all those many piles of dead had unwittingly opened up an awful, dreadful seal. Yes, the blood that they shed as they laid there seeped its way underground, opening the eyes of the dragon that stirred below. In other words, resurrecting Veldora. Luckily, the champion Yom, accompanied by me, the plucky Jura Tempest Federation leader who's angling to become a recognized demon lord, worked together to coax the dragon to our side at the cost of many sacrifices. Quelling the beast's anger, we agreed to worship Veldora as our guardian. All hail Veldora! <laughs> Seeing... And setting cookies. Yes. Setting things up this way would establish my claim to the Demon Lord name and neatly pinned all the blame on Farmus while establishing us as the good guys. Think about it, Gazel commented. People fear what they do not understand. They will never willfully accept it. A monster who single-handedly destroyed an army of 20,000 will find no one willing to believe his claims about peace and friendship. Fuse and Yom seemed to understand as much as they groaned about it. And these guys were two of my closest confidants. Someone who didn't know me? They'd react just like Gosel said they would. I could wind up at war with all of the Western nations the next day. But, he continued, if we claim the Storm Dragon is behind the 20,000 missing soldiers, that would be easier for the masses to grasp. The Storm Dragon is already a living catastrophe, after all. A mastermind of all types of destruction. Sorry. You're all good. This seemed to convince the crowd. Only Veldora stayed at his seat, snickering. <laughs> Call me a mastermind, will you? You are a smart man indeed, and completely missing the point. Well, if he's happy, I'm happy. I support this plan of action as well, Errol said. 
Stating that my daughter held Surimaru become a demon lord would inspire nothing but fear and disdain. Much better for him to have been able to negotiate successfully with the Storm Dragon because he became a demon lord. He'll be much more appreciated that way, I think you'll find. He smiled, his eyes looming over the meeting hall in search of dissent. I swear, he's the kind of guy who would do anything for Ellen. Oh, oh Dad, that's exactly the type of nefarious scheme I would have expected from a noble as crafty as you. <laughs> oh, Shem's back. Did you figure out the computer thing, Shem? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes! Uh, yeah. okay. We'll see, my computer is now like 20% cooler because I did something jank. I was like, okay, what's the coldest thing? He froze again. Oh, and he's pulled down my PC for now. Okay, so your your problem still persists. Oh, you did it's freeze still back. up in the middle of yeah. Oh, uh, of course. We'll have to see. Draft baskets. Yeah, and it has I'm nothing to, to do with you out. doing video. Yeah. Either. So, uh, yeah, today is the first time it's done that ever. So, uh, we'll see. I just updated recently, so I have no idea what's going on here. Okay. But I'll, I'll figure it out. I apologize again. No, you're good. Discord's just being so fun. Let's see. It might be okay. that, but I'm not exactly. It might be Discord what? Discord is causing Discord. Yeah. Discord is causing Discord. It's, it's living like up to its up name. There. Yeah. <laughs> Discord is living up Eldora, to its name. joke's on you guys. Yeah. I would have done it for the cookies. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we can figure this Let out afterwards. So, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. In the meantime, I couldn't tell if Ellen was praising him or making fun of him, really. It made me feel bad for Errol a bit as I waited for the audience to quiet down. And that's not the only advantage for me. I said, it's important that the human race doesn't needlessly fear us, but this might also fool the other demon lords eyeing me into thinking that Veldora's the only threat, right? And that would give me some breathing room to work with. Oh no, he's gone. After I thrashed Farmus, <clears throat> the demon lord claimed it must be on the lookout for me, at least. If we spread the rumor that it was actually Veldora providing the big guns, I think that'd make me less of a worry to him. Gazel, king of an allied nation, wanted to have Dwarven come out of this looking good. Me? I wanted the Western nations to think nicely of me, while making anyone hostile to me underestimate my abilities and put their guards down a little. For now, it was much more helpful if they thought I was a whiny pushover than someone worth fearing. <laughs> Rima is anything but that. Right, but that's hmm. the point. I know. <laughs> Besides... If word gets out that we've got a, the authority to negotiate with Veldora, that's going to keep a lot of nations from messing with us, don't you think? No matter what the Western Holy Church says, I think there's a good chance they'll have trouble finding anyone to carry out their orders. That might be the biggest advantage of all. Even before Gazel's suggestion, we needed to reveal Veldora's presence sooner or later. And if we did, we might as well do it when he's at his most useful. We were planning to tango with Clayman soon. Ole! So deliberately antagonizing the church right now was nothing short of idiotic. Waging a two-front war would just spread us out too thin. We had to avoid that as best we could. The trick here was to keep our foes as unworried about me as possible, but as worried about Tempest as we could imagine. I tell you, Raphael's made some choice edits to what was already a killer scheme from Gosel. Sensing his, my, and Errol's motivations, he weaved them all together to get the most use out of them in his plan. Just according to Keikaku. Amazing work. Ever since that ultimate skill evolution, his mind's been sharper than ever before. I like cake. Hmm. I, like I like cake, turtles. too. Do you like turtles? I like turtles. I like turtles. I like I like singing! <laughs> like nah, I was gonna do it. <laughs> I like trains. I like singing! <laughs> The whole sketch. I like singing. I like dancing. I like trains. <laughs> die, potato, die. I like trains. No, 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 no wait. <laughs> oh, man.
All right, Astro's so, movie's great. It is. It is. It's just fucking great. I'm gonna do an internet. Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna read a book. I'm gonna do an internet. All right, continuing on. Continue. Sorry. I see, Veldora said, nodding his satisfaction. So now you have a reason to take care of me, then. Oh, great. He only listened to the parts of this story he liked, didn't he? That wasn't quite what I meant, but... Oh, well. Apart from him, the rest of my government seemed to enjoy the idea. I understand the merits of this, Rigurd said, looking a tad relieved as he vigorously nodded. In this case, we can continue negotiating in much the same way we have before. That must have been a worry for him, how this would affect future trade with other nations. He was developing a keen eye for Tempest's economic development that I, that I appreciated. Brilliantly done, Sir Rimuru! A truly ingenious plan! Wait, hang on. Brilliantly done, Sir Rimuru! A truly ingenious plan! No, Xion, I admonished, relieved that at least she understood the gist of it. King Gozel thought it up. I just made sure all our feedback was included. My thanks to you, King Gozel. Sufia commented, bearing a faint grin. Now when we make our move, we can expect great things from Sir Rimuru's forces. Phobio and Alvis seemed just as eager for the idea. The three Bisketeers were on our side. Benny Water's mind, meanwhile, was already elsewhere. <laughs> Very well. So now we can focus entirely on Clayman? If we can't win this, it will just prove we were talentless from the start. Good to hear. I need him on the field. Zoe, Geld, and Benny Mater were of a similar mind, ready to roll out this very moment. Roll out. Tempest, roll out! <laughs> now I had dozens of passion-filled eyes fixed upon me. I nodded back at them. I need you to wait a bit longer, guys. You can go hawk wild once the summit is over. Okay. We had a backstory, and now we had somewhere to start. We needed, and now that we had somewhere to start, we needed to decide what we'd do next. I told the audience about how we had the King of Pharmus and a church archbishop in our custody. In their place, we would support Yom as the land's new king and launch a plan to build a new nation for its people. Now Fuse was groaning again. After, fa after falling silent for a while, I guess he had finally worked everything out in his mind. Gazel was similarly quiet, eyes closed. His friends were bouncing ideas off one another, but opinions seemed to be split, without any clear consensus. Even Errol offered no words, no doubt coldly considering how the Sorcerer's Dynasty should react to this. I watched them all closely as I continued my guidance. First off, we would release the current king, then force him to pay reparations for invading our country. This would be a pretext, of course. The actual aim was to throw Pharma's itself into a state of civil war. If the king managed to gather his nobility again and attempt a resistance, his life was as good as gone. I was dealing with a king here. I wasn't about to let him off the hook twice. Damn. Now, if this king meekly agreed to our demands at this point, We'd delay the whole Yom as King thing for a while. By Raphael's estimation, however, the chances of this were practically nil. Even if he suddenly became a king who lived up to his promises, fulfilling his obligations would be punishingly difficult. His nation had just lost 20,000 men and women of working age, and he needed money to rebuild his power. He'd be forced to claim it, for, uh, claim it from the nation's nobles' families. Uh, but they were all far too greedy to cooperate. No, the king would find some excuse or another to ignore the reparations entirely. Then Yom would raise the flag of resistance, staging a coup to help restore good faith in the government. It was the duty of the survivors to take responsibility for a lost war. Eh, duty. What if the king didn't do that? What if he ordered his government to de facto shake down the nobility for money instead? He'd lose any authority he had. The whole reparations thing was a wedge to rip the king apart from the nobility. Once he had lost all influence with them, the internal factions of their government would undoubtedly fall apart. The king's sons were not of adult age yet. Reportedly, it was easy to imagine them becoming puppets of the nobility. That, in turn, 
would certainly lead into battles over succession. Either way, whenever things descended into physical combat, Yom would step forward, and the exhausted masses would hail, them as, uh, hail him as their champion. No matter which way it shook out, it all meant that the kingdom, the current kingdom of Pharmus, was about to meet its downfall. Tempest, of course, would announce its support of Yom, a champion they had been on good terms with for a while now. Once Yom declared the establishment of a new kingdom, we would be the first to officially recognize it in open sanctioned relations. The nobility, the source of current ruling power, would no doubt form an alliance to fight back but we'd already factored that into the equation. We'd simply exile them all except for those who offered to cooperate from an early stage. If they insisted upon meddling with us, then they'd have to just disappear, sadly. We would serve as a deterrent to any such alliance, preventing any direct military activity while we sorted out who was friend and who was foe. In the midst of this, we would take the time to announce new policies, that would win the trust of the people, boosting Yom's popularity. Once this happened, the plan was to destroy the opposing forces. A nation couldn't be built overnight, even a breakne at breakneck speed. It'd have to extend to two, maybe three years. Of course, Yom might be the one that, uh, the throne. E uh, Yom might be on the throne even quicker than that if the current king made some particularly ill-advised decision. That was the basic outline. It meant that, however the timeline wound up actually working out, Yom was ultimately all but guaranteed to become king. Personally, I explained, I have no interest in opposing the people of Pharmus. In terms of allowing their own rulers to go around like he owned the whole world, however, I'm not absolving him of guilt. They will have to put up with some tight times for a while, and I'd like them to put in a solid effort at rebuilding once it's all said and done. Everyone thought silently for a moment before Gazel spoke up. I like this. I have no objections to the plan itself. However, Rimuru, the idea of Yom becoming king is another issue altogether. He stood up, putting the full force of his gaze upon Yom. It was powerfully withering, even from far away. Having experienced it myself, I knew exactly how the man was feeling right then. Hmm? Yom let out a grunt and clenched his teeth in the process, but he met Ga uh, Gazel eye to eye. I almost said Gale. I was like, who the, who's Gale? Hi, I'm Gale Weathers. Ah. This is anyway. Gale Weathers reporting to you from a tornado. No, it's not quite like that. This is Gale Weathers reporting to you live from a tornado. There we go. That's yeah. probably better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anyway. Hmm. Well, he has great willpower, at least. But what of his character? Is he prepared to feel for his people? To take up their pain and stand before them? A hush fell upon the meeting hall. Hush. <laughs> How the hell should I know? I'm not here to be a king because I want to. But if I turn down this role after he's put his full trust in me, what kind of man would I be, huh? Hmm? I'm just saying. I don't want to convince myself I can't do it and give up before I even try. I also want to impress the woman I love, too. I'll grant you that, but if I'm going in, I'm going in full power. That statement right there is how Mirren got pregnant. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there was no waver to Yom's voice. He was speaking a heap of nonsense, but his determination made it oddly convincing. Fool, Mirren whispered. <laughs> It's so much like, oh, yo, eh? The beast man, Grusith, replied, grinning. You have my word on this, Dwarven King. This guy's an idiot, but he's not an irresponsible idiot. Once he takes something on, he'll carry it out all the way to the end. And I, Grusith, promise I'll be there with him the whole time. Mura nodded her agreement as all three sized up Gazel. Is that the case? Very well, then. If you need anything, call upon me. Like a light switch, Gazel turned off all his intimidation, nodding at them good-naturedly. I guess they all passed his final exam, and if they have the armed nation of Dwargan backing them up, that was huge. I have to say, though, you found quite an interesting man here, the king added with a smile. 
He seeks the throne to impress a woman, a shocked Harold stammered. Nice going, Grusith. I sure wasn't expecting you to stand up here and abandon Lord Ca Carrion in front of all of us, chided Phobio. It felt like a circus, really. Yom, intoned Gazel, once everyone was done laughing. What we seek from your nation is agricultural production. I don't want to meddle in your political affairs, but listen to this. I know Pharmas can keep itself afloat through its black market trade in my nation's manufactured goods, but I think we've recently proven that this won't last forever. Hmm? It was true. The exorbitant tax rates, uh, the exorbitant taxes Pharmas placed on imported goods before reselling them had made it into one of the world's most notorious price-gouging outfits. They were not exactly one of the Dwargan, Dwarven King's favored customers. Now, with a highway linking Dwargan to a vast, fresh market, Pharmas was losing its precious advantage. If the kingdom wanted to survive, it needed to have something new. And instead of a field where, they, uh, where it'd be competing with other nations, It'd be easier to coexist if they blazed a trail into unexplored markets. I had heard before that the Dwarven Kingdom faced issues with self-sufficiency in their food supply, so I could easily tell what Gazel was hinting at. I was just thinking that I wanted a new, uh, I wanted a new import supplier of grain for our nation, something that wasn't so independent on what, oh, so dependent. Why did I say independent? so dependent on what naturally grew in the forest. In short, the idea made sense. Ooh, I'd like to be on, in on this too. Add new grain varieties for us to your list. Who would have guessed you'd jump on the train too, huh, pal? Well, I'll get in on it. We're pretty developed agriculturally over in Farmus. I think it'll be easier for folks to accept than you'd think. Thus, with Gazel and me sharing common goals, we made a preliminary agricultural agreement with, uh, for whenever Yom was crowned. We agreed to take a break at this point while Shuna passed out tea to everyone. Once we were done, I dove right back into the summit, re-energized. Uh, re with Yom formally accepted by the summit, our mission to build a new farmist was now underway. That was really the trickiest part of this whole meet. The uh, of this whole meet. The rest was much smoother sailing. So, as a representative of Blumand, Fuse stated, I have a proposal. Listening to King Gazel and Sir Remus speak, I believe we might have something to offer this plan as well. In Farmus, there are two noblemen, the Marquis of Muller and, the, and Count Hellman, who share an intimate relationship with Blumand. If we could negotiate with them to join our side on this matter... I think they could do much for our cause, don't you think? I believe they will provide staunch support when it is time for Yom to take action. Whether he's a guild branch leader or not, does Fuse really have that kind of power? Fuse, perhaps sensing my disbelief, gave me an awkward grin. As I stated, I represent Blumand here, and you may consider me to be part of the Blumand government. I make this proposal not as a guild master, but as a public servant. As he explained, Fuse apparently had a seat in Blumen's intelligence department, not as a member of staff, but as kind of an assistant supervisor to the whole outfit, which was fine and all, but this was kind of a huge offer he was making, wasn't it? Could he really decide this on, so on this solo? Han Solo, Han Solo, sorry. All right. Uh, I asked him about this, and then he gave me an even more startling revelation. While I was meeting with Gazel and Errold earlier, he had already tipped off the King of Blumand about events here and had him draw up a document providing him full representational rights. That's the kind of quick footwork I suppose I should expect from a tiny kingdom like that, not to mention a sign of just how much Fuse was trusted. And as he put it, Fuse said several pieces of info that would sink the whole kingdom if they were released secretly, I had considered him. Oh, I blah, blah, blah. secretly I considered making him tell me somehow. I couldn't help it. So Fuse had been taking advantage of his position to divert all kinds of information his way. 
anything he thought might be necessary, even before he heard about our plans. The way he described it, the Marquis of Muller and the and Count Hellman could basically enjoy the Blumen King's personal support. Being a powerful noble and farmist, the Marquis was no was in no position to offer any public kindness to Blumen, but he and their king were close friends behind closed doors. Muller, in fact, was distantly related to the Blumundian royal family, and they had gotten along well for many years. He's also probably investigating someone about Russia. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, the Muller report. I stupid. Anyway. Count Hellman, meanwhile, owed a great debt of gratitude to the Marquis, making it extremely unlikely he would betray him. Wow, you sure you want to reveal all these secrets to us? <laughs> oh, it's fine. I am sure the Dwarven King is well aware of all that before I came here. The Dark Agents of Dwargan are just as talented in their jobs as our own intelligence group. And as neighboring states, Fuse must have figured the dwarves would have known a thing or two about them already. Gazel simply twitched one of his shoulders upright, uh, upward a bit, offering no further reply. Henrietta, the beautiful knight assassin poised behind him, blinked a bit as well. Soe praised her as a talented agent. I could believe it. Ho, ho, ho! You're being too humble, she said. The kingdom of Blumen's bread and butter lies in intelligence. If you are posted in the center of a spy agency for a nation that treats information as saleable goods, I'm sure you must be far more talented than my own team, no? The voice was friendly enough, but her expression indicated she didn't actually believe what she was saying. Ha, ha! No need to be so harsh on yourself. Our fighting forces w uh, would have nothing on your dark agents, I don't think. In terms of intelligence gathering, of course, I do believe we enjoy some useful advantages. Fuse was just as headstrong, it seemed, but Blumen's small size allowed it to cover intel from every nation in the world. No, uh, uh, no doubt. That was the most powerful weapon it had to defend its borders with. But regardless, if Fuse said it, it had to be true. Those two farmist nobles definitely needed to be recruited, and fast. Did you hear all that, Yom? Yep, I'll add it to the list. We'd sell Yom to them first. He'd enjoy a true champion's welcome, and it'd be an epic event. But we can work out the details another time. Yom's team can handle, all, uh, can handle that at their leisure. Okay, so, Calvin, you're taking over. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you get to finish out. You get to close out the chapter. All right. Yeah, because cool. that's uh, there's no more dots here, and since you're the one that's uh, hasn't been on in a while, I'm gonna abuse this privilege while we still have it. Okay. Uh, Char, if you're getting sleepy and you need to head out, I absolutely understand. You've been yawny girl tonight, and I don't want to keep you up too long if you're tired. Especially since it is past 10 o'clock already. Hmm. Uh, which we only have like, let's see, we're on halfway, more than halfway through 76, and we're ending on 82. We don't have like a lot to do. We've got like six and a quarter pages left. So, yeah, if okay. you want to, if you want to stick around, that's fine. But if you are tired and you want to head off, I absolutely. Oh, she can't hear me. Never mind. Oh. Yeah, she's deaf. <laughs> Here I am trying to be polite. She can't even hear me. <laughs> All right. Let's Hold see. On. All right. Let me message her. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Yeah, I, I was... Sitting here saying that uh, Calvin's going to finish up the rest of the chapter, but I know you've been kind of yawning tonight, and it is past 10 already. Uh, yeah. So if you want to head off before we finish up, we've got about six yeah, and a quarter I, pages left, but I can understand yeah, if you want to call I think I should probably head off. It's right. like 11 by me, so good night, guys. Mm. Good night. Good night. <laughs>
also i was watching the whole time muted just to see how the stream was and it was like on and off but i think now it's smooth so i don't know what i did just now but i just kind of force quit <laughs> restarted stuff okay. i i don't know what's going on, on my computer so i hope that cooling pad that i ordered recently will help out with that because it, it got could... hot and then it like everything started slowing down okay so yeah that could be right now it's kind of propped up in a in a spot where it can like get decent air circulation as best as it can so gotcha, gotcha. did it sound smooth like do i sound okay right now yeah you haven't like yeah, nothing you... has happened uh okay as far cool as, like you um uh, as far as you freezing up or cool i also changed some st settings on my uh my computer and shut down some processes happening in the background too so oh uh, yeah. yeah i don't understand so... why i mean your cpu was in like the 60 percentile area yeah and i was like your CPU and I'm like, oh it? boy yeah i was like i don't know why it's using that much for discord it's better now but mm. i had to like go back and turn off like weird background processes happening and i did a scan on my computer to make sure there's no viruses luckily there's not you might want to check for malware as well yeah that's true because because yeah, once true. i once i did a malware scan oh mm -hmm. the amount of memory that i had dropped like a lot like the amount of memory yeah. that it was taking up just i went yeah, from no be constantly being in the 70s to being around the 30s yeah yeah wow. there, there was just some wonky things going on i also changed the background uh what was it there's something that you can turn on called like show transparency on the mac and it turns down like the CPU usage on your visuals. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, so that might also be something that helps out too because it yeah, was turned could... off. Or so, I don't know. Whatever happened, I guess it's smooth now. So thanks for being okay at the end of the stream. Oh, you're good. You're all good. Uh, computers, good times. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, Calvin, if you'd like to go ahead, let's get this wrapped up. Uh, mm -hmm. guys, if you're wanting to redeem exercises, now would be the time. Okay. Great. So that's how Yom the Champion will gain a country of his own soon. Everyone murmured their agreement, Yom bring, uh, bringing a hand to his head in bashful embarrassment. I'll pretend I didn't see that and declare this topic well and truly settled. Next up... Just as I was about to proceed to the next topic, Errol apparently finished processing our discussion and burst into hysterical laughter. <laughs> <laughs> this is so entertaining! The leaders and representatives of entire nations expressing their minds freely without doubting one another for a moment. I feel almost like a fool for staying on the alert around you all. He couldn't help but chuckle at the ridiculousness of it all. Even though he, even though the light remained sharp in his eyes, this was absolutely the face of a high nobleman, not Errol, the helplessly devoted father, Archduke Errol of Thalian, a man whose position made speaking his mind virtually impossible. Without warning, he stood up, overwhelming the air around him. The sudden change in atmosphere turned all eyes silently toward him. We nervously awaited whatever he might say next. The meeting hall was silent. Save for the turning of the turning of the pages as Veldor read some manga. Yep. <laughs> Good. Whoa, what the hell, man? I didn't even give that to you yet. Where'd you pluck that one out from? Oh, uh, oh well. <laughs> yeah, he, he had no in, he had no interest in listening to anyone here anyway. As long as he's shutting up, I have no complaints. He certainly helped relieve my tension just now. Let's just see what Errol has to say. The Archduke cleared his throat to return the attention to himself, then solemnly opened his <laughs> mouth. That's resilience there. Allow me to ask, the man over there, Fuse, do you truly place your trust in this monster, Rimuru? That... how do you mean, sir? I mean, even if a bunch of monsters decide to go and start a country, did you have to officially recognize him? And was there any need to establish official trade relations, for that matter? In terms of your relative locations, you certainly could have acted with less haste. We... It seemed like an honest question. Not one hurled out of spite. That was why Fuse found himself without words, having trouble finding his reply. What I am saying is this. If I were in your position, I would engage them in trade, yes. But I would also see how the Western Holy Church reacted. 
giving them confidential reports, you see, and leave matters to them if there are any problems. That way you enjoy all the profit, but you aren't beholden entirely to one side should issues crop up later. Isn't that the way smaller, uh, any smaller nation should handle matters? The words and his gaze were sharper than any sword, and Errol wasn't the only one. It seemed like everyone's eyes were upon Fuse right now. Ugh, why me? He whispered to himself. And then... Oh, all right, all right. In that case, allow me to be honest. Resigned to his fate, Fuse tore at his hair and began speaking loudly. His usual brazen personality was back. He was facing the Archduke of Thalion, and he had enough of all this formal ceremonial speech. Duke Errold, I was of the exact same opinion as you. I, start, I stated the same case to my superior as well, not to mention a nobleman friend, but I was brushed off. As Fuse went on to explain, when he tried to convince his boss of this, his concerns were immediately dismissed. The reasoning? What if Tempest decides to declare war on us? This was before I visited Blumund, but after the battle with Charybdis ended. Mm. To them, we were, uh, okay. to them, we were, <laughs> to them, we were this nation packed with high, ma high level magic born, powerful enough to take out both Cardi B and an Orc Lord. Okay. <laughs> You didn't see Waging war with them. <laughs> Waging war with them, Fuse was told, would result in an instant annihilation. Luminism was not wild was not widespread in Blumund. The Western Holy Church would provide little serious backup. One can Any say unwise... that Blumund is not very wild about luminism. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, where... Sorry. Oh. Uh, okay. any unwise moves and the country would cease to exist resistance they concluded was futile ah, Lord. <laughs> so what to do then we'd earn their trust build a mutual friendship and find a way to coexist we wouldn't be able to uh, we wouldn't be afraid to cooperate with them as much as possible that was the conclusion the highest levels of Blumen, uh, the uh, Blumen government made and, I mean, your nation and the Dwarven Kingdom are powerful enough that you, you have all kinds of choices available. But with us, one messed up and it's over. And if, we, if, we, if we're waging our fates here, better to trust the monster in the Monster Lord than the Church. That's basically it. Fees explained with some chagrin. Thinking about it, having his exact thoughts pointed out to him made me feel kind of sorry for Fuse. It was basically admitted that the Kingdom of Blumen was too puny to take up Errol's common sense suggestion. Not that it was wrong, but still, good or bad, right or wrong, that wasn't important. They had decided to fully trust me. It was beyond reckless. Or was it, really? If it blew up in their face, that was it. But they had concluded that there was no other way for them to survive. I was as powerful as an entire army. No wonder that they saw me as a threat. Better to, better to fight with us, not against us. For a small nation dealing in intelligence and living in the shadows of superpowers, maybe that was an effective strategy. Definitely reckless, but in a way effective, maybe. E effective against me, anyway. Regardless, I was sure I could trust in Blumend as well, and Errol must have come to the same conclusion. Still, that was quite the brash decision. And if I could change the subject for a moment, I understand you came here to provide military assistance to Sir Rimuru? Was that the decision of your, uh, superior as well? Exactly. We've ratified a common, sec uh, common security agreement, and I've been ordered to follow it to the letter. Of course, even if the government broke its promise, I would have come here anyway. I'm a free man, I'll have you know. The guild is, an is unaffiliated with any nation by design. Normally, you see, it'd be crazy for someone like me to be here. You could, you could say my luck ran out the moment I was appointed pointed to Blumen's intelligence team. He sounded like he had no idea why he took the job in the first place. Almost too honest of him. Not that he could do much about it now. 
I had no idea his king was so dedicated to keeping his word, though. Complying with that agreement and bracing themselves to war, uh, for war with Farmus. And here I thought that the treaty didn't earn us much of anything. Now I was glad for it. I had real insight to how they thought of us at present. Sticking to promises lies at the core of any human relationship. That applies to nations as well. Any nation that doesn't follow its promises or treaties can't really be trusted. This whole incident had proved to me that Blumund is eminently trustworthy. They risked their necks because they believed we would win. Not that, not that even they thought I'd wipe out the entire army by myself. Can, can I guess who this superior is? He sounds like quite the gambling man. Fuse nodded, seemingly fighting back tears of frustration as he smiled. As you probably surmised, it's His Majesty the King. You know, he did seem like a pretty nice guy when I met him. Guess he's more of an expert at this whole nation-leading thing than I thought. You need the guts to go all in when you're running a country sometimes. So, he continued with a sigh, that's what's going on, and his choice wound up being the right one. Never in my life would I have imagined you defeating a force of 20,000, Sir Rimuru. And resurrecting the Storm Dragon? It's no longer a question of trust at all, I'd say. And that document giving me negotiation rights here? I think the higher-ups may have set a new record drawing it up. It was like he was a stole bulwark, bulwark, keeping his homeland from collapsing. Uh, I could understand why he was a tad overwrought. Oh, wait. That last line was Fuse, was it? Or was it Arrow? I couldn't... F I'm thinking... I'm thinking it was Fuse? Because I think this line is Arrow. Yeah, it's hard to know who's talking sometimes. <laughs> that is one of the hardest things about the reading. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes uh. the, the thought pattern or the speech pattern alone isn't there or it's not enough. So it's like, uh... Right. Okay. <laughs> ah, I see now. The tension disappeared from Errol's face as he lowered his head a bit toward Fuse. I apologize, Sir Fuse. Thanks to you, however, I fully understand the King of Kingdom of Blumen's intentions here. It's lies always, aren't you, Errol? Interjecting Gazel. <clears throat> you know I trust, Rimuru. There is no need to go feeling out other nations to satisfy your doubts. You may say that... Either. Not without consent. Exactly. Consent is key. Right? That's true. <laughs> Especially during times of diplomacy. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite C? Diplomacy. <laughs> Democracy. <laughs> Lunacy. <laughs> you, may <laughs> you may say that, Gaz. You may say that, Gazel. But it's not it's not but it's not going to be that easy for us to forge a new pact with a nation of monsters. I have a new and healthy respect for the Kingdom of Blumend. Ha, ah, enough of that rot. You came here because you had the same you had the decision made beforehand, did you not? So what is your conclusion, Master Strategist Errold? Errold reacted stonily to Gazel's provocation. Not because he was relatively safe in his homunculus, but because he really did just have that much nerve. You could say that I have made my own conclusions, yes. But before I answer you, can I ask one more question? He turned to, he turned to me next. Dad, come on! Stop acting all stuck up and just answer! That caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> I thought somebody else. I don't else think anybody on. was ready for that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Hey, lady, pipe down. Yeah, the archduke's trying his hardest to look all cool for you. Okay. <laughs> the tension in the air was thoroughly ruined by Ellen and her two cohorts. So much for them, master strategist. Mused Castle. <laughs> I felt a little bad for Harold. So I decided to bring some uh, solemnity to the environment. Meaning I unleashed a bit of the Lord's ambition. Let me hear it, Harold. 
I could hear my government stir in their seats, even as Gazel and his friends groaned in astonishment, and Yom, Fuse, and the Eurasania contingent began sweating. I set to it, I set to run as long as possible, but it was even fiercer than I gave it credit for. This was, after all, the merger of skills like coercion and magic aura, something I could use as an attack. Misuse would be dangerous. Still, I, th still, I thought I had gotten pretty good with acting all kingly like, uh, kingly like this. The trick was to erase all expression from your face as you spoke. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hiding your emotions and taking a dispassionate tone was enough to freak your audience out, really. Between Shizu's good looks and the wispy, transparent feel of a slime, the mix gave me this perfect sort of mystique. I'm biting my uh, lip. Going. Me too. Add the, add the Lord's ambition to the picture, and it was perfect. Yeah, I didn't need anything else. If I let my emotions bubble to the surface and start acting more like myself, that mystique vanished in short order. You had to train at this, really, so as a former middle-class schmo, I think I was doing pretty well. <laughs> I love that uh, he described himself as a schmo. A former middle-class schmo. It sounds like a weight <laughs> class. It's like, and in the former middle-class schmo category. <laughs> in the former middle class schmeh category. It's, it's a, it's the. So we're about to have a former middle class schmo down. I see. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I like hey, that. Hey, diddly I'd hide yo. Hey, da diddly I o. Either way. Hi, diddly ho. Hi, diddly ho, neighbor. I. <laughs> Either way, it was enough to take in Harold. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> in that case, Demon Lord Rimuru, tell me, uh, let me ask you, how do you intend to wield your powers as Demon Lord? Oh, that? Simple. I wanted to create a world that's easy to live in, the way I picture it. A bountiful world where people could be as content as possible. No bluffing, no dodging it. No bluffing, no dodging it. That's what I really thought. So that's what I told him. That kind of thing, I guess. And I'm sure I'll have some stumbles along the way. It's not going to be that easy, I imagine. You seriously believe you can build that kind of fantasy world? Oops. Sounds like a real surprise there. I successfully managed to, successfully managed to shock a high noble who almost never reveals his emotions. Well, you know, that's what my power is for. Ideals are just a bunch of a uh, bunch of raving without power to back them up, and power is just a vacant void without ideals to back them up, isn't isn't it? And I know I'm pretty greedy, but I'm not into seeking pure power for power's sake with no other particular goals in mind. I was rephrasing a famous line or two in my mind, and I think I managed to get my point across. I mean, doesn't this go without saying? You work at something because you want to accomplish something. That's the SSM humanity, I think. <laughs> hilarious. That is hilarious, Demon Lord Rimuru. A Demon Lord versed in the concept of karma. I think I understand why you managed to awaken, awaken yourself now. I didn't stop him from laughing at me. I let him have his fun. And once he settled down, he stood up and kneeled before me. My pardons, Demon Lord Rimuru, as the envoy of the Sorceress Dynasty of Thalion, I hereby request the establishment of former relations with your nation, the Juris Tempest, Fe Jura Tempest Federation. I hope to hear a positive reply from you. We're not sending any jurists over. No, <laughs> no, no jury duty today. No, no, no. Not today. <laughs> uh, I say nope. Maybe. Can't do it. Stars. Not today. <laughs> Stars. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's okay. Or sorry, yeah, I should apologize too. <laughs> we so, got half a page to good. go and we're done. We're good. Yes. Yep. The hall fell quiet again. Except for page flipping. Better not let that bother me. If I turn toward him right now, it'd ruin the entire atmosphere. We are reading the a book. Fair point. <laughs> 
The sight of a storm dragon lying on a bench reading manga while sipping some iced tea he had someone make for him would just scramble my brain. Well, I mean, when you say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> a ridiculously high level creature just chilling in the cut reading manga. Right. In the mid- yeah, it's just like. In, a mid- in the middle of major. major diplomatic relations. Going He's on. a dragon. <laughs> He yeah. had a dragon. He's fine. He can do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So dragon is the new N word. If you're not a dragon, you can't say it. <laughs> it's like, what's up, my dragon? Who's like, not much, my dragon? It's like, <laughs> hey, can't Rimuru's say that. Rimuru's like, Rimuru's like, what up, my dragon? Rimuru. You, you know you can't be saying that. You can't say that. That's not cool. Not... Rimuru, come on, man. We've talked about this. A dragon can't call in. <laughs> A, a dragon can call another dragon dragon, but uh, no non dragon can call another dragon dragon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this fact. You will address me as Veldora. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That'd be so stupid. I don't think I'm going to write that, but that's hilarious. <laughs> Sorry. Please that, continue. That would, that, would, that would ruffle way too many Jimmies. <laughs> Well, now that you've said that, I really want to do it. <laughs> when you put it, like are, are that, you prepared to wrestle that many Jimmies? <laughs> yeah, I mean they're all invited to the dragon barbecue later. <laughs> I have to go now. <laughs> Calvin, please, dude, do you not know dragons throw the best barbecues? <laughs> And you don't even need like fuel or propane or any of that stuff, man. Propane. They bring their own. They bring their own fire. Yeah. <laughs> of course, a dragon barbecue is the only time you don't want to hear. Oh my God, he's on fire! <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wonder what anyway. the dragon fish fry would be like. Uh, crispy. And delicious. Quite. <laughs> Quite. How how hot is their hot sauce? Hot. Just a guess. Nuclear would be uh, nuclear wouldn't be enough for them. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. I'm gonna eat some nuclear magic on the side of my of my fish here. You know, okay. it goes on hot ones, and he's like, <laughs> it's the last one. He's like, what was that? Got anything hotter than that? <laughs> the only time that the bomb beyond insanity doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. We'll go if, ahead. We'll go ahead and let you. If it's continue. if it's too much to handle, just uh, just use a little uh, uh Veldor's red hot. <laughs> Veldor's <laughs> red hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sold in Tempest soon. <laughs> you know we're gonna end up doing some stupid ad like that at the beginning of an episode. We but should. That requires that we actually get to a point where we can do. Uh, where we get to Veldora in human form. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was like, Veldora's red hot. Why are you selling? <laughs> what, what, what kind of marketing bullshit is this? Where did you get red hot? How are you even selling them? Who are you talking to, Mom? <laughs> Why would Mom be interested in buying red hots for you? Because <laughs> I'm your favorite. Bitch, you're a liar! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, now, and then you, you just randomly get a costume. Who's my favorite dragon? Who's my favorite chicken? <laughs> we just hear thump, 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 thump. <laughs> oh, man, we're so stupid. I, yep, I apologize. Let's finish this chapter. I don't apologize. I yeah, don't, I don't apologize either. for anything. I well, I mean, you don't need to. I'm the one that came up with all the ideas that derailed the last <laughs> bit, bit of the show. You have nothing to apologize for. You've been a good boy this entire I, time. I kept it going though. It's like, it's yeah. like, I have done nothing wrong ever in my entire life. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. Scratch his chin. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> all right uh i was hoping we could i was hoping we could build a positive relationship myself i will gladly accept the offer 
cheers erupted and everyone leapt out of their seats to celebrate this memorable new bond. Today oh, we Shadow. welcome. <laughs> That doesn't even make any fucking sense. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to do that. <laughs> yeah. Today, we welcomed another faithful ally. So now we have the beginnings of diplomatic relations with Thalion, our third human nation. Soon, farmers would be no more, and Yom would be at the helm of a new nation. Slowly but surely... The map was being redrawn. Things were moving and accelerating faster than I had pictured at first. The map is being redrawn, you say. <laughs> Don't tell the Republicans. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, redistricting is their thing. <laughs> mm. like, let's make Thank this God. district just about five shades wide. Wider? No, whiter. Oh, no. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> All right, finally we got done with chapter one. We're on to chapter two next Hooray. week. Hooray! Woo. And there was much rejoicing. Yeah. Hooray! So Hooray. thank you guys so much for that. We're gonna go uh, fuck off and do other things, but we appreciate you hanging out with us. Yeah. This whole time, we finally had Calvin back for a slime uh, reading. Yeah. So yeah, good. Right. Yeah. Uh, if, awesome. All right. Uh, if you have not done so, highly, highly recommend the. Uh, I, I highly recommend that you check out volume 13 of Slime. It's really, really good. But of course, you'll need to read the following. You'll, you'll need to read the preceding volumes before it. But yeah, some shit goes down in volume 13 makes sense after chapter one it's all war it's tempest at war. war with someone else and it's like like the remaining three quarters of the book is just tempest just railroading with these people that thought that they had a chance it's hilarious it's great that's all you really need to know but like the reason why they're able to do all the shit that they're able to do and all the personnel that they have, read the books before them and you'll understand. That having been said, it's on sale now. You can go grab them. If it's easier and cheaper for you, get them through Kindle or Bookwalker because getting them digitally is a bit cheaper than getting them in the physical copies. Uh, 12 and 13 are actually in my roommate's room right now, but I've been getting them physical. Like, Slime is the only ones that I get the physical copies for right now. I mean, I will eventually get Mashoku Tensei physical copies but it's going to be a slow process for that yeah uh that having been said though guys i will see you all again wednesday for more dungeons and i almost said dungeons and demon slayers oh my god dungeons and dragon stuff with overlords and best boys that having been said (laughs) yes oh yeah look forward to that we got more fan friday minecraft shenanigans that we will get up to with (laughs) calvin and then of course saturday more mashoku tensei to look forward to and yeah. uh, this Sunday, this coming Sunday, is when we will be debuting the first episode on YouTube of our live anime reviews where we're going to sit down and talk about all the anime-related stuff. Lastly, if you haven't checked it out, go check out Spy Family. And once again, Internet, it is pronounced Spy Family. You don't pronounce the X. No one says Hunter X Hunter and doesn't sound like a moron. It's just <laughs> Hunter Hunter. Sorry to break your bubble. The X is not actually pronounced. It's not the letter X. It's just kind of like a neat little visual stylish trick. Just Hunter Hunter. It's just Spy Family. Don't be like Garnt. Garnt. You sound like a fool. <laughs> All right, everybody have a good one. And yeah, we'll see and you thanks again. for dealing with the technical difficulties. Uh, we'll see you again on Wednesday here on Twitch. But in the meantime... Uh, make sure to check over on our YouTube channel tomorrow. There might be an art stream. You never know. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Eat more cookies.